What's up, you pudgy sp- pole smoking punishers? <laughs> <laughs> Terrence Pop here, and uh, resurfacing from the Cobra Kai dojo with a bottle of bird dog and a surly disposition. I'm toxic male. <laughs> <laughs> I'm turning. My and it's it's going to be a good one tonight, man. I I dug into the bird dog early because <laughs> it's going to be a good one tonight. <laughs> well, I, I I think we're going to see some spun up pop tonight. Listen, man, there is so much bullshit going on in this world. Yeah. I'm going right for the... <laughs> You're going right for the cold brew. Right for the cold brew. i got to get a jump on it. <laughs> and this is our second time filming today already. Uh, we filmed earlier a new episode that's going to be coming out next week called How to Take the L. So you guys are going to like that one. Be ready for some good life advice. Well, you know, one, uh, no one wins them all. No. And especially the past couple generations that were coming up. 
have not been taught correctly how to take the loss. I mean, I was the same way. Oh, you mean people who go around and burn loot and murder in the streets because of imaginary oppression that they've neither, neither experienced nor dished out don't know how to cope with reality? No. Yeah. No way. Whoa. Whoa. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh! Speaking of re, I see some re down there in the uh, in the chat. Um, this came to my attention earlier when I was prepping everything for D Live. Uh, allegedly, we got a mention on Salty Crackers live stream, but I'm not sure if it was from this last Sunday or the Sunday before we broadcasted. Uh, speaking of which, uh, if you're watching on the main channel, hi. <laughs> Long time no see. Yeah, yeah, we got a we got a strickety strike. Uh, two for the price of one. Hey, you don't. Hey, it is what it is. Isn't that weird? It's weird. Just don't don't say nothing. We're good. No, I'm just saying that typically you get two, but I guess I guess they were in different categories. So uh, we were, were allowed to broadcast this week. I mean, I'm not going to look a gift whore in the mouth, but I'm just saying. Just saying, man. Just what are you going to do? Well, I'm sure as hell, I'm not going to. Watch the lamestream media, that's for sure. Though I did send that strike and some of the, the other messages uh, in regards to, you know, it was reviewed and blah, blah, mm -hmm. blah, too, on an attorney. So, yeah. <clears throat> we got a strike. Uh, you'll notice that the two streams that we did, not last week, because if you didn't watch on the backup channel, youtube.com slash Terrence Pop Culture, uh, you didn't see us broadcast last week. But, yeah, both of the streams from the week before, gone. And one was for medical disinformation, and the other was for uh, spam or deceptive practices, a.k.a. talking about the stunning and brave ice cream social. Correct. Totally above board. Yeah, yeah, totally. And the results of which we're going to be talking about today. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> and a women. But first we're going to talk about this because, <laughs> oh, no, hang on. But first, oh yeah, we're going to talk about this because this was sent to me just prior to the show, and it is. Oh, right, here we go. Oh, it's yeah. All right. Black people more likely to die in traffic accidents, and COVID made it worse. <laughs> uh, how do they explain that? I, I don't know. <clears throat> more black people died in traffic deaths in 2020 than any other racial group, even though Americans drove less in the pandemic. Experts say this is not new. Um. Okay. I, I'm just trying to figure out how, you know, we all have licenses and drive vehicles and you assume the risk f f of your own life every time you do drive. And somehow we're still going to drag my wastisms into this. Yeah. Um, if you're going to have an argument with physics, I, I don't think death cares what color your skin is. And, and what do you think of this uh, this photo here? It's, uh... Well, I'm, I'm telling you right now that that. That car was tailgating that truck. Yeah, that is that is what we call down here in the sticks uh, vehicular ash to mouth. <laughs> That's what that is. Yep. Yeah. Now, Are I don't you see, in good hands? Is there? I don't see an ambulance, so I don't. I don't think anyone got smoked. Well, I say a lot of cop oh, cars. Wait, wait. There's a lot of tape. So yeah. Yeah, a lot of cop cars. I think they took the body away, and now they're doing the whole, you know, the blame game and the three shell Monty I to see who's gonna like uh, pay pay the deductible and, and the family. Yeah, because if you look at the back of that truck, there's, there's a scorch marks on the back, so there was. Some, oh yeah, there was some definitely. There uh, was a fire. Yes. Somebody got cooked up. Uh, smells like bacon. Hey, no, done. Let me tell you something, man. That's absolutely true. I know you've I, you've told me that many times. I Ugh. have nightmares over that shit, and that, that just never it's never going to go away. Well, I never. I, I'm I'm glad that I don't know what that smells like. I mean, I've discovered two dead bodies in my life, but they weren't cooking. Uh, one was when I was five. That doesn't count. Four or five. Yeah, I I, I just thought she was asleep on the shitter. You know, my mom's taking me in the bathroom at the bus station, f find a dead body sitting there in the toilet seat. Oh. <laughs> Let's go in the next stall, honey. Just, <laughs> don't ask any questions and I don't, won't tell you no lies. Don't mind them. They're just dead. Yeah. And then <laughs> when I was 20, 21, uh, I was just leaving to go and pick up some booze with my girlfriend and all of a sudden she starts screaming at me to stop the car. 
like, what the fuck? So I stop in the left lane, throw on the hazard lights, and she's like, there's a, there's a body over there. I'm like, oh, fuck. So I jump out of the car, and I go over this dude had somehow flipped over his handlebars and just forehead crunched directly into the sidewalk. He was dead when we found him. Freak accident. Hey, well, you know, at least it went quick. Yeah, yeah. If you got to pick a way to go. Yeah, I've seen a lot of dead bodies, bro. <laughs> to quote grumpy old men. Money. Oh, there we go. To quote, quote grumpy old men, lucky bastard. No, I, I've seen more than my share of, of gore and dead bodies. Yeah. Hopefully I don't see any more. No. <laughs> but just uh, the reason why I wanted to show that one first is because, remember, this is the same media that wants you to believe that the ice cream social was eh, above and board. Above board, and everyone thinks that our duly elected, wonderfully amazing, and completely not senile president is very popular. Push poll from the Hill Biden approval rating at 60% on 100th day. Bull. <laughs> shit. <laughs> No way! Did you know that this poll is so far an outlier that when you compare it to the aggregate on RCP, it's like plus 22? I, I don't believe polls anymore. No. To be honest with you. I, I quit believing them in 2016. Oh, you when, when it was a 99% <laughs> chance that Hillary... It's a lock! <laughs> like, get the fuck out of here. Oh my gosh. Just think about it. I mean, you're a guy who's good with math, right? I mean, looking at the numbers that we had in the last election, if if this were legit, what would that mean? Um, that uh, Biden would have filled up all kinds of, uh, you know, venues when he was given his, like, uh, you know, dis disjointed, yeah. crazy, backward-talking bullshit. Uh, it would also mean that since the election, his policies and everything would have to be so successful that he would have to drag... Trump supporters and independents who were like, fuck this guy. Yeah. I, I, I can't do this. I'm, I'm going to go home. Space Ghost is on. <laughs> he, he would have to bring all of them over. Yeah. No, 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 no. No, I don't think so either. No. No, no. This is, uh, this is utter bullshit. This is just propaganda crap. The media is gone. No, they're they're just They're not even reporting the news. And you could, you, we're starting to see some of the reporters go to Project Veritas. There was another one. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Is this not the, the Fox chick? Is it a different No, no, this is CBS Channel 62. Ooh. So now we got some CBS people jumping the shark. That's great. We're going to see a lot more. Oh. A whole lot more. Well, think about it. They can't tell the truth. Because if they do, they're going to get fired. Um, yeah. But to go along with the agenda is to just push bullshit and boring stuff. I don't care that Joe Biden likes ice cream. No. I don't care. That, oh, he's got a dog in the White House. Oh, he's so relatable. Oh, look at him. Like Jill's patting his head. Oh, no, don't pat his head. Pet the dog's head. Jill, Jill. Oh, God. <laughs> Nurse Jill? Nurse Jill, yeah. Yeah. And she sure as fuck ain't Dr. Jill. <laughs> no. Mm -mm. Unbelievable. Yeah. So, 60% on the 100th day. Totally, yeah. And because he is so popular. What was it, 81 million votes? Oh, something like that. 81 un million un votes. Unheard of. Yeah, unheard of totals mm -hmm. of votes. We, <laughs> you know, we'd have to. Yeah, you'd have, you'd have to see Joe some, Biden's 100-day failure. We, you'd have to see some <laughs> representation of that on the ground. I mean, come on. <laughs> Oh my but god. But instead, this is what we see right here. <laughs> Joe Biden's 100 days of failure. This is from back in April. Sh should I just read off a few of these? Oh no, I'll, I'll, let me take the first one. Oh, you go for it. Biden's open border agenda created a border crisis. Oh no, it's not a border crisis. You can't you're not allowed to say that. Oh, let's send Kamala down there. 3 months later. Kamala? You're you're not there yet. No wonder they call you come swallow a heels up, pull my hair. Do your job, bitch! Absolutely. Ugh. It's, it's like they can't bribe her to go down there with anything but cock. Uh-huh. And then number two, Biden but, uh, tried to suspend deportations, yep. weakening immigration enforcement even more. 
And he got cock blocked on that by the Supreme Court. Good. The he tried, it was like a hundred day moratorium on deportations or something like that. And they were like, no, not your job. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a running theme so far in his presidency. And the, the third one, he's obstructed border wall construction. We all knew that was going to happen. Mm -hmm. Oh, and that's why I love Texas. Because uh, he signed up what two hundred and fifty million dollars to continue construction to begin with, wall. yes. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah, and you know what? I, I can almost guarantee you that now that they're working for Texas, it's going to be a lot cheaper. Yeah, you don't uh, you don't mesh with Texas, you know? Because I'm, I'm serious. Whenever the federal government starts writing checks, shit gets really expensive. Yep. <laughs> what is like uh what's his name in uh independence day oh you don't actually think they spend thirty thousand dollars on a hammer twenty thousand dollars on a toilet seat do you <laughs> <laughs> border state democrats warned biden's white house about a border crisis fueled by his policies and the administration ignored their warnings shocker we all knew that was shocker gonna happen. number five now experts estimate a thousand legal immigrants are escaping to U.S. each day during the uh, border Biden border crisis. Oh yeah, uh, it's got it's way higher than a thousand a day. Oh yeah, well no, That's, just those are rookie numbers, man. Come on. Well, those are just people who escape into the U.S., not people who actually make it over the border and are detained. And that is a number six in March alone, one hundred and seventy-two thousand three hundred and eleven border apprehensions, five times the number in March last year. Wow, but there's not a crisis. No, there's no crisis at all. No, 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 no. No, and these aren't kids in cages. These are uh, underage migrant detention center. Oh, no, wait, that doesn't sound good either. Um, Schools? Uh-huh. And here's another good one. Nearly 19,000 unaccompanied minors are taken into custody. Now, I have Ooh. no idea why they don't just, they don't even, the kids come, they don't have a parent. Yeah. Like, you're shit out of luck. Go yeah. back to Mexico, let them handle it. And it's not our the, fucking problem. And it says that was the highest monthly total ever recorded. Yep. And that was in March. We are now in June. Anybody want to bet dollars to donuts that we've since broken that record? Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure we have. And the, we're, we're going to have a hard time getting these numbers because I'm pretty sure uh, big tech and the mainstream media yeah. don't want those numbers out. And you know what really ties my fucking dick in a knot is that we have to learn about this on sites called GOP.com, which makes it real easy for independents and the left to try to disregard all this shit as just misinformation. But every single thing on this list is sourced. And you're not going to hear any of this bullshit in the media. Nope. No, you're not. Ugh. It's In my professional opinion, if this thing devolves in two-way rifle range, uh, when the media rolls up, they should be treated. They should be treated like an enemy enemy uh, weapon system on the battlefield, because that's what they are. It's propaganda. Yep, it's all psyops. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't want to read everything on this list. I don't think, but I think uh, it's so depressing. You want to jump to number nine? Yes, go for it. There has been a two hundred and thirty three percent increase in fentanyl seizures at the southern border from last time th this year or last year. I. I don't know about you, but I love it when my kids play George Floyd Suicide Meltdown. I mean, I think it's the greatest game ever made. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I, 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 I just, uh, Are you channeling your George Kirby Taylor, Taylor Floyd? And here's, here's the crazy shit right here. Uh, fentanyl is, what was it, 11 times more potent than standard morphine, right? Yeah. So people get the stuff on the street yeah. and they overdose. Ooh. And then the the friends of the person that overdosed, the first thing they do is like, I got to get me some of that shit. <laughs> That's exactly what they do. That's uh, It's insane. I would say, yeah. Hey, where yeah. do you get that stuff? Ah, I'm going to get me some of that. I'll be careful. It'll be different for me. No, <laughs> no. No, it's not. That's terrible, man. It's like, oh, uh, I'm special and the rules don't apply to me and. I'll be fine. Uh, no, you're Ooh. not. And yes, they do. And guess what? You got an appointment with a body bag. Oh, man. Oh, you got to look at this graph here. I didn't even notice this before. It's it's pixelated as shit, so I'll have to read this to you. Uh -huh. If you can see here, uh, this number here is the uh, the different colored lines here represent years. Uh -huh. uh, the gray line here is 2018. Uh, 2019 is this line here. Mm -hmm. The red okay. one. 20... Uh, oh no! Is that no, it's the yellow the orange line one's here, 2019 yeah. and the 2020 red one's is is down here, 
okay? This is 2021 so far. And this line right here represents where Come Swallow a Heels Up, Pull My Harris was named the crisis manager. Wow. Despite the fact that there is no crisis. Remember that. Yeah. They actually gave her the title of crisis <laughs> manager. No crisis. Yeah. This is so stupid. <laughs> It's like going to work on the set of an Orn Pay film, and you're like, oh, yeah, well, I'm just a fluffer, but I don't suck dick. Right, you're going to love this one, number 12. <laughs> In response, Biden has repeatedly tried to gaslight the American people about the seriousness of the crisis. Oh, and then there's three bullet points here. Biden refused to recognize a crisis exists, which yeah, we, we know very well. Said that. DHS Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas insisted that he doesn't think a crisis exists. Uh, Press Secretary Jen Saki Saki, $5, 20 bucks up front, 50 around the world, also falsely claimed there is no crisis. Lovely. It's such a bunch of bullshit. Let's just bury our heads in the sand. It'll totally go away. Of course. It totally works. Uh -huh. Every single time. I'm telling you, right now, this is going to keep going on until we have a bunch of states saying, this is insane. They're, you're not getting our tax money. We're pulling out of the union. Fuck off. Yep. It's going to happen. Yeah. Because they're, they're, they are making no attempt to, to bring the two sides back together at all. No. It, this is just, it, it's all a partisan shit show. The it whole is. thing is just. And, you know, the, the Republicans are just as, as bad, in my opinion, oh, yeah. as the Democrats. The Democrats are evil, and the Republicans are cowards. Those two things do not do not mix well no. when you're talking about people who are supposedly elected to represent the will of the people. Correct. Yeah, absolutely correct. I mean, you, you give the Democrats an inch, they they try to go for ten miles. You give the Democrats, or they give the Republicans an inch. <laughs> It's like a chick the first time she sucks your dick and she doesn't know whether or not she washed it first and she wants to test and see what flavor the ice cream is. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? All right. Uh, it's kind of nasty. Uh, that's a weird analogy. Stop it. <laughs> nasty. That's a weird analogy. That's, that's what I'm here for, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> Lord, I apologize. I'll be with the pygmies down there in New Guinea. Amen. Amen. <laughs> All right, we're not going to read all of these. There's like 20 of them in here. 14 and 15, I think, summarize it beautifully. Biden still has no plans to visit the border and come swallow a heels up, pull my Harris, laughed when asked if she would visit the border, still has not visited the border, and that is still true today. This article is almost two months old, even after being named the crisis manager. God damn, look at this. It's this goes on and on. I it's know. just like, oh my God, this is one. I'm just going to keep scrolling. This is one flying crossbody cock block after another. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Oh, I have totally forgot about the uh, the infrastructure package. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the, what, the $6 trillion one? I mean, shit. His son on a crack bender has more of an infrastructure package, if you know what I mean, than this infrastructure package. Yeah, this is bullshit. Even if he does like to use that infrastructure on his niece. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's quite shameful. Only 7% of the spending proposed in his infrastructure packages, package is for roads, bridges, highways, airports, waterways, and all that stuff. It cracks me up because as soon as that happened, and he's like, oh, this is what it's all for. And then all of a sudden, all these Democrats came out of the woodwork and said, well, this is infrastructure. Green energy's infrastructure. Uh, free maxi pads are infrastructure. My butthole is infrastructure. Well, then get it bleached and shut your <clears throat> damn mouth. I know. I know. This is insane. Oh, man. Oh. And when they, when they bank up the United States, bro, it's going to off the hook, boy. That's like a combination of bro and boy. Bro. Broy. How you doing, bro? Bro. Call it's me. It's going to go off the broy. hook. <laughs> it's going to go off the hook. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Here, here we go. The reality. I, of sent, I sent you this. <laughs> yes, you did. This was. I, I, I'm like, oh, my God. I got to send this to Blake. This is insane. Well, like what we were saying before. You know, his supposedly he's at 60% approval, right? Yeah. Most popular president ever, 81 million <clears throat> plus votes. But all this failure. And, you know, he's still the most popular guy ever. Correct. As long as you're only polling Democrats who their support for him is as soft as his P-Nice. Tracking the White House YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. You will see algorithmic manipulation and reduction of likes in the hundreds of percentile. 
Yep. Look at this right here. A weekly conversation on the job at Townsite Solar Project. These are all actual YouTube videos. The official approval rate is 15.08%. 1 116 upvotes to 653 downvotes. The real approval rating is 2.83% with a manipulation amount of over 500%. The real number of downvotes, 3,986. You know what the opposite of this is? Hmm. Our channel. Yeah. <laughs> like, we'll, we'll get, like, I We need know. to remove likes from this channel. No, maybe, they're taking our, maybe they're taking our likes and giving them to Joe Biden. I don't think we go over more than, like, 15 dislikes, and it's usually the same chicks that do it. I get, th I get like, thousands of upvotes and, like, v v Minimal downvotes, but yet my my subscribers uh, yeah. are going backwards. It's like cyber hate fucking. It's like, yeah, you know, I, I gave him the downvote. Yeah. yeah, see how you like that. Yeah, I still got your views. Wait. But the thing is, YouTube is, they're just playing, they're playing around here. Uh, look at that. Look at this. 305% manipulation amount. I wish they would have a third button saying, I can't hate this enough. Uh, oh, President Biden signs the Juneteenth National Independence Day Act into law. Uh, should we just skip ahead to yeah. come swallow us pictures of yes. how she celebrated Juneteenth? Uh, oh, my. Yeah. Oh, my Lanta. Here we go. If you guys haven't seen this. <clears throat> All right. Now, pay attention to this the This is picture. hilarious on a level that I can't even. All right. Uh, what the what? mother for it, 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 Did it sign you out again? It signed me out again. I'll fix it. Uh, yeah, well. You That's son of bitches. Or maybe they, I, I don't maybe know they why took it, it down. It, uh, no, they didn't take it down. I don't know why it keeps doing that to me, though. It's pissing me off, man. Did it sign you out again? Uh, let me try this. I don't know why it's being... Uh, ha, ha, ha. I think Facebook <laughs> is playing games. Uh, they probably are. The, this page isn't available. They took it down. But I can see it. <laughs> Let's put it up on the screen. <laughs> if, if you can see it, but you can't get to it. Yeah, I know. I can't it, put it up on the freaking screen if it's not going to let me do it. It's they, just they really took it weird. Down. No, the, the thing is, they didn't take it down. For some reason, it's just not letting me do it. All right. I, I will find this. I will make this happen. T tell them what it's all about while I fix this shit. Well, she threw a big party in celebration of uh, Juneteenth. Yeah. I don't think there's any black people there other than servants. Well, of course not. <laughs> Why would there be anybody like that? I mean, come on. It, Unbelievable. It doesn't make any sense. Oh, here it is. I got it. Boom. There it is. Oh, I knew I, I could oh, find whoa, it. Whoa, whoa. Okay, so. All right, hang this, on, hang on, hang on. All right, so these two women to her left and right. White as snow. You got white-haired Raggedy Ann Andy with her eyes closed. Yep. And then you got the other woman with gu guitar strings of flesh hanging from her chin and her, I assume it's her, her breastbone. Yeah, and I think it's just an unfortunate refraction on the the one on the left's face. Uh -huh. But it looks like Hunter Biden just finished up with his niece all over her. Yeah, it looks like she got a you know, uh, I don't know, a, a sticky salty discharge. A little bit, yeah. All right, let's check out the next one here. There, go. there we go. Look, look. Uh, look at the diversity. Uh, wow. Oh, the, wait, there's an oriental chick. Okay, there's right. one there. Every other person at this table is white as uh, snow. I, I think the woman towards the end is Hispanic. That's a possibility if they're actually a woman. Well, uh, I mean, she looks like a fat. Uh, I mean, a from fat, here, ugly Hispanic. From here, I think that's a woman's penis. Uh -huh. and, oh, and then look at the uh, plates. And the silverware, you know, see, it's got the gold oh, yeah. trim, oh. and it's got the solid silver, everything. Oh, another Everyone's thing. Everyone's got three glasses to have wine. Yeah. Get the hell out of here! And then there's a minority person of color with the white uh, Jeffrey coat yep. off in, in the, the back. corner there. But here's a really important thing to note, is that they're all done eating, right? Yeah. And these are people who believe the science about the iau. Oh, yeah. I don't see no one. No masks in Not sight. Not one mask. And then, of course, there's uh, Pocahontas I hate right that there. Bitch. <laughs> he looks so happy to be here. Yeah. He's like, later on, I'm going to shove my dick in a blender, and it's still going to be more pleasurable than being in a room with these vapid Quantas. It's a new tribe. Oh, there we go. <laughs> she looks pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> I know what she's thinking. Oh. These white ass entitled bitches. 
Massa Harris didn't give me my rice patties. Yeah. I mean, this is just this is just reprehensible. See, now there is a woman who actually does keep hot sauce in her purse. I'm just saying. If you remember that Hillary Clinton interview. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, this is oh. – is, is that the last one? That's the, the only those four pictures. Okay. It's amazing. <laughs> I mean, come on. I mean, come on. I know. What a bunch of baloney shit. Uh, and we are just getting started with the failures. That is that is just scraping the surface of pond scum. That is just could, this disgusting, nasty we actually, swamp ass. We could make two shows out of this. We really could. We could. You know what? I think I mean, we're just going to have to cover first, this once a week. That first article alone had 100 failures on it. We could do two shows on that. <laughs> two shows of failures. God. But damn. you know what I would rather do shows on? Super Chats. Let's right, check. Let's I missed th- you guys last week, and apparently you missed us because we already have almost nine. Thank, you, thank you very much. Hit oh, the likes, man. Are they f- already? Why? All of a sudden, our data stream is dropping. Yeah, it's 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 waffling down near the bottom. Oh well. If we have to start and stop, uh, start and uh, stop and start this stream again, we oh, will. I'm gonna be pissed. We <laughs> will if we have stream to. Labs. Is it Stream Labs? Yeah, Stream Labs was screwing up. They're back up. Oh, and then they're dropping again. And then they're down to zero, and then we're back up to 5,060. Why do we use Streamlabs again? You know what? At this point, I really don't know. Yeah. Because I, they're, they're fucking with us. Well, it, all the time. Either they're doing it intentionally or they're just shit. Yeah. Why, well, why, it seems why do like we we're it? back up and staying steady. So okay. apologize, everybody who's who's in there in the throttling. Reload the stream. It looks like we're at a consistent data level again. Allegedly. 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 But we're going to jump right into these super chats. All right. Rogue Thinker with 50 Canadian dollars. Canada. Canada. Wishing all of you gents here a great evening. Terrence and Blake, to you, good health. I raise a glass of whiskey to all of you. Amen. And we raise one in return. Mmm. Delicious. Joe Marisaw with a $50 donation. Oh. Thank you. Thank you Thank so you. much. Tinfoil hat thought. China burned their people because Yao was engineered as a Yao weapon, but that one doctor leaked it before it was ready. Um. Well, I'm gonna be honest. Um, that the, that lab got a whole bunch of safety pro, protocol write ups prior to that, uh, yeah. and apparently, I I don't think they took it serious. Oh yeah. I really think that it was released by accident before it was fully cooked and ready because I I genuinely believe that it would have been much much worse once it was perfected. True story. Oh 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 oh. oh no, oh. you killed it. And another thing, no China. More bird dog. China is not using the same vaccines that we are. No. They're using one that actually contains either a disabled or dead viral particle, where we are using this new kind of technology that we have no idea what's going to happen. Well, that's, we can't talk about that, though, because it's medical disinformation, and you know, we can't tell the truth anymore. Uh, I'm just telling you. I mean, that's, I'm not saying what's going to happen. I'm just saying. I, I mean, it's not like the stunning and brave parent company that you guys are watching this on recently got implicated in funding a certain lab or anything. I mean, I'm just... Watch Tim Pool for that one, yeah. if it's still up. <laughs> if it's still up, yeah, I guarantee I, you it's probably down. I watched that one as soon as it came out. I mean, I, I was like, holy shit! It would explain a great many things, though. Yes, it would. It really would. Somebody don't want to lose their market share any more than they already have because of their own stupidity. Absolutely correct. Crazy Uncle, one of our biggest fans. Thank you, sir. $20 donation. Get this. I just spent the past week getting everything ready to make two YouTube channels, even the money portion, and I upload get 99% processed and that it is invalid. WTF over. I am madder than Amy Schumer when she's told to go on a diet. <laughs> she could use one. It's not all she could use. Yep. JFK haircut. Mm. Yeah, dude. Uh, independent commentary is going to become an endangered species. Yes, it is. Coming up in, in any sort of mainstream capacity. Well. Even though it's guys like us who made this site what it is. Absolutely correct. And the, 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 like, let's, let's look at it right now. Four years ago, 
How many other platforms were there at all? There was Daily Motion. Basically, in, in terms of this country, goose egg. I know, but I'm just saying on the total internet, you had Daily Motion, you had YouTube, yeah, you had Ogreish. Ogreish. Oh yeah, uh, you just. I never even heard of Ogreish. It's older. It, um, it was a bunch of videos. It became Live yeah. League. I, I guess Rumble was out seven, eight years ago, but no one had heard of it at that point. No, no, I, I hadn't heard about it, or I'd have been using it. Uh, like you know, Ogreish became Live League. Okay. And, you know, that's all. That's pretty much all there was. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And then just in the last few years since they started this whole uh, crackdown on extremisms, you have seen viable competition pop up all over the place, man. It's like whack-a-mole. They can't even keep up with it all. And we upload to like 15 of them. Yep. That's I can't even tell you how many. You're never getting rid of us, man. You can keep trying, Susan. Yeah. It's not going to happen. We're like herpes. We just keep coming back. <laughs> Any I'm sure Susan have, knows all about that. I mean, she got herpes trying to get where she is, right? Imagine so. Yeah. Suck that herpes scab, girl. Ah! Ah! Uh, 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 think of the salary, Susan. Think of the salary. <laughs> oh, my God. Stop it. <laughs> you know that's how it went. Uh, probably much. Yeah, I'm not going to say this. She didn't have an interview. She had a casting couch. Uh, and we've all seen it. Yes. Yeah, that's actually kind Don't of even pretend like quite you Quite amusing. You know you've all seen it. <laughs> <laughs> Susan's mad, bro. Yeah. I don't, I don't care. Well, isn't that what happens with most of these whammon once they get into positions of power? I mean, look at our governor. Who clearly, I mean, she was, they, they, her nickname in school was Stretch and Gretchen. Because as long as it was the back door, it didn't count. Yeah, she liked- and now she's getting back on at all of those men by taking it out on everyone. Yeah, she did like to get her balloon knot punched out. <laughs> Just saying. Blow out your O-ring, man. That never works. It's bad news bears. <sighs> Dinoside13 with a $10 donation. Happy birthday to my based and red pill little brother. He is wise beyond his years, learning from my mistakes, and has done him well. Cheers to him. Have a shot of Irish whiskey, gents. It is his favorite. Nof. Uh, this is... I don't know where this is from. It's not Irish whiskey. This is Jameson. Bowling Green, Kentucky. All right, I'll take it. Uh, Stephen Kent. The reason more black people die in car wrecks is because the majority of black people live in urban areas where there are more cars on the road, hit pop with a straw for old time's sake, and just because we're talking about blacks. I'm going to hit him with a black one. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Uh, 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 hey, hey. Oh, over the shoulder. Damn it. It wasn't even a through and through. God damn it. Son of a bitch. Ball Harry. Ball, <laughs> Ball Harry. Harry. Need Popster tactical assessment. Me, Facebook employee versus Super Hog Slayer. How long will I last in the octagon? And does Pop have a First Amendment tattoo? I have no tattoos. I don't know how long you last in the octagon. If you don't know how to fight, it probably won't be long because you know, reality sucks. Physics is a bitch. And the bigger person usually has the advantage in a hand to hand combat. Yeah, well, most of the super hog slayers are like super skinny white dudes. You ever notice that? No. So he, he, he maybe you could take him. I don't know, <laughs> tech geek or not. I, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. It all depends. Uh, oh, oh, I could show you some videos that would have you want to upchuck oh, that pizza you please, ate when we you were just prepping them. Stop it already. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! I mean, you got like a 250 to 300 pound Brimolo pinning a dude up against the fence and making out with him, and he's so skinny he can barely fit his legs around her. I'm like, isn't that backwards? <laughs> like, yeah. girlfriend's got a dick, bro. I mean, I don't you? know, man. Probably feeds her, uh, you know, with a pancake batter through a hose. <laughs> President Biden, oh, thank you for joining us, Mr. President, on yeah. the stream with a $10 donation. My dog took the vaccine. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we couldn't give him there. a shot, so what we decided to do was, well, we decided to, to crunch up the little vaccine pills. We put them in some peanut butter, and we put them on Hunter's member. 
because, you know, he's so disturbed by what he did with his niece. That's the only way the poor dog will play with him. Mm. And I'm going to hell for that one. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> but, hey, at least I'm not the one who got a foot jab from my niece. Ugh. Oh, my God. That's disgusting. Taylor Graham. <laughs> With a five dollar donation, Joe Biden is the non essential employee of the month, forty eight years in a row. Yeah, that's golf. like that's like that's not six is that six hundred months? Go, <laughs> go golf clap for that. That's a long time. That's a long time. Wow, that's amazing. Reaper zero one with a twenty dollar donation. Curse of the Wango Tango Pot Five, aka the divorce. Uh, my eighth grade girlfriend grabbed her chest and her eyes rolled back as I applied the pig tea. I was clogged for two days as I thought she lost her meat suit and I was going to jail. <laughs> D- dude, what, if, what were you doing with your teenage years? <laughs> dude, Holy shit. He sounds like a porn star. And this is part five. How many parts are there? I don't know. Wow. Uh. Dude, you should write a book. You, you should do it. do it. Curse of the Wango Tango by Reaper Zero One. I would buy it. Huh? I want to know what's going on. <laughs> I'm dead serious. How do you not have HPV? Or maybe you do. I don't know. Uh, he was obviously for- a free range fornicator in his youth. So Heavily penised vagina. <laughs> yeah. HPV. Oh. Uh, Damon Wolf Whip MGTOW welcoming us back with a $50 donation. Holy thank you so much. Thank you all very much. We are not worthy all. Uh, what has he got to say here? I haven't done a little Bane Connery yet here for you. Don't know if it's been mentioned yet. Just joined. Found out two days ago cargo ports are now charging $4,000 instead of the $1,400 they were charging to dock and unload. All over your ex-wife's face. Allegedly. Fun fact, you can pay $20,000 to be put to the front of the line. Well, in a gangbang, that is the ideal, the ideal position. Well, uh, what are we talking about? The, the, the Cargo ports. The cargo ports. The, the, uh, they're coming in. Why are they charging so much? I don't know. Maybe because they're so backed up, they can. That's quite a possibility. Capitalism, work, it, it works. <laughs> yeah. It's when the government gets involved that capitalism starts to fall apart. And then you have corporatism, not capitalism. So I love correcting people when they say, well, this is just end-stage capitalism happening. No, it's not. This is cronyism bullshit. Because this is what happens when government gets too involved. Actually, both systems lead to cronyism. They all go to the same, the top of the same pyramid. Yes, but an actual free market that allows competition is only possible in a true capitalist system. Correct. What we have here is what happens when government gets too involved and says, you can't do this, you can't do that. Yes, I know. And they accept money from companies like Google, Facebook, Twitter, to allow them to create vertical monopolies. Oh, well, they're not really the same company, even though they all have the same parent corporations. Yep. It's a sick, twisted game. It's, sure a, it's a fascistic circle jerk. Say that three times fast. I can't, I can't say that. <laughs> It pops like I says too many syllables. Okay, can you Scrum sign me up for the next one shit. instead? I can't do it. If I can. <laughs> President Biden again. Oh, welcome back, sir. Did you forget that you made the first donation? <laughs> <laughs> I found out a few hours ago that I'm actually the president of these United States of America. Who would have thought? Mm. I know some thoughts who wish they would have thought, if you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. I uh, paid us with a ten dollar donation. Hey, I just looked up the definition of monking. Oh. I shuddered physically in disgust. What's even worse is that someone somewhere actually did this for the definition to form. Think about that. Visualize it. Could you stop? Visualize no. it. Hold you. Hold back the the, the, the vomit there. Stop. That is. And so take a straw. Hey. Oh man. I was asked to do it. You can't blame me. All right. All right. I, I got to do what the people want. <laughs> Bre- uh, Although, as an OnlyFans uh, account, you can actually get into trouble for doing that. Just saying. Don't do it. <laughs> oh, I actually God. know someone with one of those things. What? OnlyFans? Yeah. Uh. She actually thinks she's going to make $38 a month. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> really? That's not going to happen. No. No. 
No, nah, she's like a six with Photoshop and good lighting. <laughs> she's eight. She's an eight with a six pack. <laughs> you are correct. Oh man, Kiro Ninja Double O Fang Fang voice. Hey Pop, do you think that if China ever invaded the USA and Sleepy Biden does nothing to stop them, can the Pentagon still engage them even though Biden orders not to engage? Why does Fang Fang sound exactly like Bane Connery? I don't know. But that is the voice that I use. I'm going to be honest. If it comes down to it and the White House doesn't take action, you're going to see the individual states take action. Cause... Yep. Well, that's what's been happening. Yeah. Uh, I think Missouri, just last week, uh, they pledged noncompliance with all federal gun control legislation, especially uh, bans, buybacks, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And you know what? That's exactly how the drug war started to, to basically fall apart so and we're gonna do a whole stream on that too so stay tuned yeah because there's a lot of people in prison that are there that shouldn't be exactly they're not victimless crimes yeah come on i mean what are they really doing i mean mo most of the time especially if it's marijuana yeah, most of the time they're just doing this shit to themselves because they they're self-medicating you know they want to they don't want to deal it. with with some part of reality got it very few druggies Get to the point where where it's like my half brother, where you know I I come home from a family vacation and I find my house ransacked when I'm 13. You know, shit was sold. Just, yeah, he took more of my shit than anything else in the house. It's probably worth the most. <laughs> I had the most electronics. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't. You know, it was all given to me, and I understand that. And I was 13. I'm not gonna do, but still, dick move, bro. <sighs> yep. Son of a bitch. President Biden again. Internet took the COVID vaccine. It's having seizures and going blind. <laughs> <laughs> well, ho the data looks like it's staying steady, so hopefully we'll be okay for the rest of the stream. Fingers crossed. Kevin Reha with a $20 donation. Pop and Blake, love the show. Evil Bert. <laughs> All right. You should use that haircut again just for, for fun. Yeah, for, yeah that's... Uh... That, Kevin Rhea was one of my guys in Iraq, and uh, he was in Third Platoon. Guy was hilarious. <laughs> He's the one that uh, taught me how to talk to you. To, you sexy talk your food before you eat it. Yeah? yeah. Sexy talk your food. Look, well, look, it, we're in Iraq. Oh. You're going crazy. So you're not really getting a lot of good food. No. Okay. So when you finally get something, you're like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what's coming next, right? Uh, all over your face. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> it was hilarious. <laughs> no, and, it, and he stole like... Uh, I'm going to act like a good little girl and swallow. He, you know, he stole something from one of the other platoons, and they came and they stole like one of his stuffed animals, and then they uh, they put up a wanted poster <laughs> that had a gun to his head. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Oh, hey, look, shit. you got to keep your sanity somehow, man. That is great. Because we're getting mortared like, you know, between three and five times a day. <laughs> it just was a shitty time. Well, you know, I, I guess you got to do what you got to do to keep yourself laughing and keep your sanity. Yeah, e even if it means romancing a vomit. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, the place is just. Although, did anybody hard. actually ever romance a vomit? No. No. I, I would think that. Just like you know, you don't go over three bills even when you're jumping on the grenade. No, no. You, I mean, like you got to have some standards. The chow hall was atrocious. It got <laughs> a little better when uh, an American company took it over. But before, when we first got there, it was an English company. Oh, okay. And the food was just disgusting. Just like the women. Oh! Ooh! Ooh. Yeah. I, I'm sorry. There are some lovely, lovely British models out there, but most of y'all do not look like Keely Hazel. I'm just going to say it. No, no, no. They got that 64 grill. It's all jacked up. <laughs> I'm serious. It looks like it just got rear-ended from the front and the back. <laughs> look like a Plymouth Fury went ass to mouth with a dump truck. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> it's like they're gargling with you who <laughs> <laughs> you suck on that tailpipe there, boy. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, you suck on that potato. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, them, them poisonous gases, they smell real nice. Mm -hmm. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. You got a pretty mouth. Mm -hmm. Are we done with the, with the <laughs> super chat? There's more super chats, but we got more fails. We oh, yeah, get to, more bro. fails. Let's do it. We got more fails. And then we're well, going we to get all the, the rest uh, of the chats tonight. Okay, we discovered reality on the ground. Real and then Russian The real. 
Russian collusion. There we go. You know, four years of this bullshit, listening to how Orange Man was a Russian puppet, but he was the one who put sanctions on Russia, especially in regards to their natural gas and, and oil pipeline stuff. Mm-hmm. Biden's not even in office half a year, and he removes them at the same time he kills the Keystone Pipeline. Correct. Correct. Wow. Wow. If you want to know why your gas has gone up a hundred, a dollar twenty a gallon, there it is. Yeah, I mean, I remember driving to Philly mm-hmm. to do our deal with uh, with Donovan Sharp in September, and then I went out there again in October. I was spending even in the most expensive states like a buck eighty five a gallon. Yep. Now the best gas station by me is like three oh five. Uh you can actually find one on Hoover for two ninety five. Allegedly. No, no. I went through this one. Yeah, if it's still even that. Like, they jump up during the day. On yeah, yeah. Days, well, usually. I got lucky on that one, I guess. Taking it in your fourth point of contact. Yep, that's why I had to get the juke. Yeah. I could not afford to drive the pickup truck or the Crown Vic. <laughs> oh, yeah. But, despite the fact that it is a juke and it is a homo suspicion point, it is a manual transmission, so it kind of all evens out. All right, I'll give you that. <laughs> It'll be like that shit. But, oh, man. Isn't it amazing? You know, we, we had to listen to four years of Russia, Russia, Russia. Now you're not even allowed to talk about the 2020 ice cream social. Nope. Although, or you get your stream taken down. And despite the fact, Yeah, despite the fact that you're using the exact same language that the globalist shills who rigged it in the first place used in Time Magazine. Correct. Give me a break. We're, re- we're referencing other... Mainstream media sources, but yet we get the strike. Yep. Yeah. Okay. In the butt. I, I, yeah, I see how that is. Yeah. Yeah, we're not allowed to talk about that. It's just bad. Yeah, we're kind of reprehensible. Yeah. You know, n- never mind the fact that we platformed every lamestream media outlet that was saying that the 2016, you know, ice cream social was uh, yeah, this whole, full of bad waffle cones. Now this whole thing with Russia being such this, this big boogeyman. Do you realize that their GDP is slightly less than of Texas? Yeah. Think about that. Yeah, but they totally have the means to overhaul an entire election. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> Do you know how most most things in Russia are settled? Gang fights. Yes. Does that does that really sound like the, the kind of country that has a cybernetic no, infrastructure I, that could take down... I'm going to be honest. I, I think United China's States. behind it. Uh, China bribed a whole bunch of people, and they, yeah, it's going to get ugly. They can smurf my egg roll. And what's the next one? Oh, this, this one. We're, we're jumping right up into current events, because I love this. The G7. Summit. Oh, yeah. The G, oh, here we go. What does G7 even stand for? I have no idea. It sounds like a video gaming convention. It does, actually. No, it's where all of uh, what is it? The, the the main players in the in Europe get together and talk a bunch of mad trash. Oh, together. that's right. This is when all of the world leaders that destroyed their economies and demolished their infrastructure get together to lecture everyone in the world on how to improve your economies and infrastructure. Yes. <laughs> And then th- this is where that uh, that the guy from France was like pointing his finger in, in Biden's face. And I know it's like going to O.J. Simpson for marriage counseling. What a bunch of bullshit! It's not going to be the result that you want. And, and this is my favorite thing. Just just watch this. All right, here we go. Look at this. You know, photo op. Cameras are now turning off. We're all socially distanced. You see, we we all believe the science. <laughs> Oh, shut your mouth, Trudeau. You Castro demon seed. Yeah, here we go. I don't even know why Canada's oh, even there. The photo op is over. Now we're just going to... No masks. <laughs> you might as well just pull a big centipede and everybody put your face on the other person's anus. Oh, or you could just go ass to ass and make a human starfish. Yeah, there you go. Just shit into each other's holes all day long. And there's the queen. The queen of munging. Oh! <laughs> oh, you got me on that one, bro. And then there's Trudeau, who was born of munging. Mm. He's what? The, uh, is he can- the Canadian dude? Yeah. Yeah, the uh, Castro's demon offspring. His mom was a whore. Yes, she was. Dude, I saw a picture of her showing her bush. I, you showed that to me, yeah! I know, and I'm not talking about Herbert Walker. No, no. 
It's it's the full chlamydia clam in full view. <laughs> I'm telling oh, you. it burns. We can't show it here. We'll get banned. <laughs> we'll get banned. We can't do it. Yeah. Who's all up for like you know doing what Salty Cracker does? You know, down the road we're split. We split these streams in half. Do the first like hour on YouTube, and then show you the really juicy stuff on New Tech. Who's down for that? Yeah, I'm just I'm just asking. How many likes do we have now? Oh, let's take a look. You know, jump on if over. If we again. don't have nine hundred and thirty-eight people watching, six hundred and four likes. You guys are slacking, man. <laughs> Hit hey, the likes. Hey, we're at a two-thirds mark without actually having addressed it. That's not too bad. Uh, okay, all right. Well, I, they might have actually got rid of two hundred before because we've seen that happen in real very time. Very true. And anybody seen any likes disappear? Just I don't know. I don't. But it has happened to us. Yeah, actually, in that was hilarious. In real time, I watched 200 likes disappear Boop. from our stream. It's not like they have it out for us or anything. No, it's all right mm. though. I, I, you know, to be honest with you, I really think that they're stepping on our neck because they don't they don't want us to escape and just go hog wild. Yeah, because we we we're funny. We tell the truth. We don't give a fuck, and we back everything up with sources and studies. <laughs> that's da listen that's dangerous it is <coughs> like th i mean i do I, I do talk about my anecdotal stuff when my yeah. army time mm -hmm. and you know that's just mainly for entertainment and you True. know one day you know my kids will like want to know what, what i did in the military and they can just go watch all the videos and there you go so assuming they come it, back to the land of the living easy easy it's, it's not, well, hey, hey, hey! They, they've been you, they've been psychologically fucked with, and I, 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 I feel bad. I really do. But I mean, you get them three weekends a month. You can't compete with that kind of yeah. Racism. I know. I know. I got gotcha. you. But you know what? You know, time and reality, they take no prisoners. Uh, yep. So sooner or later, sooner or later, it's all going to even out, man. I hope so. I hope so too. Otherwise, uh, you know, they're going to die poor. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, not as long as Joe Biden's in office. Well, He's going to no, make sure that we get our child tax listen, credits. Listen, I have never known anyone, anyone in my entire life that has actually succeeded in life by denying reality. Yeah. Not one person. Oh, that's how you wind up, uh, you know, boxed wine in Catland. Uh, yeah. Essentially. Well, let's move on, move on, move on. <laughs> have you seen this this video yet? What, no, which one? Onlookers laugh as Nurse Jill comes to the rescue after Joe Biden gets lost and wanders off at the G7 summit. Here we go. Oh, this is so orgasmic. It's like the G-Spot summit. He's going to get the 25th Amendment. How are your meetings going in Cornwall, Mr. President? How are your meetings? Oh, no, she misspoke. Uh, how are his meetings going in Cornhole is the correct pronunciation. Yeah, yeah. He, it, that's back in his hotel Cornwall. room. Oh, come here, Joe. Oh, you're not safe over there. Cars might hit you. <laughs> come over here. I'll change your diaper. That's just sad. He should not even be there. They should have just allowed him to retire in peace. You know, I honestly, you know? there are days when I do feel bad for him because he is a puppet. He's a to yeah, he, He's such a sock puppet, you can actually see China's hand right up his ass. <laughs> You can. <laughs> yep. Or in this case, you can see the flashcards in his hand. Well, I'm going to, like, <laughs> if I ever get called to do a debate or anything, like that, I'm going to take flashcards as well. Well, this is just hilarious because Trump. They, it's literally scripted yeah. for him to read. Biden's flashcards in England were to remind him to lie and blame everything on Trump. I'm not sure if you can read it here, but I'll go down the list of what I can see before his finger cuts it off. Trump abused power. Trump DOJ is out of control, even though the Department of Justice actively spied on a sitting <clears throat> president. We're just going to completely forget about that. And denied his orders. Exactly. Now we have to clean it up. I've made it clear that the I've made it clear that this DOJ will reflect my values and principles and priorities, not Donald Trump's. So what that means is that you can look forward to more partisan headhunting from the IRS. Mm-hmm. And weaponization of this country's intelligence apparatus against its own citizens. Isn't that wonderful? Can't wait. Can't wait. Oh, we're back to the bad old days. Mm. Yay. Business as usual. God. I can feel 
feel the penis in my ass just standing here. Yep. Not that I would know about that or anything. I'm just saying, gay crows. Oh my gosh, winning. Bastards. <laughs> Unbelievable. You just got to embrace the joke, man. I, oh, wow. Yeah, we could actually see, like, just, just so you guys know that this is not photoshopped. Joe Biden fiddles with a flashcard of anti-Trump talking points during a press conference in England. Uh, Biden brandishing the card labeled DOJ talking points while speaking Sunday in Cornwall. Yep, there it is. There it is! Not photoshopped. <clears throat> Wow. Uh, the cards include a number of pre-planned answers. That's including a claim that Trump, quote, abused power and that his Justice Department was out of control. This is the DOJ Inspector General has recently opened a review into the Trump era seizure of some House Democrats and staff data during a 2018 investigation into leaks about the Russia probe. Well, considering well, we the go. establishment <clears throat> was also comprised of some, you know, never Trumper Republicans, I would say that that is a perfectly legitimate use of power. Hmm. It may, might just be my opinion. But if you are part of a criminal conspiracy to unseat a sitting president that actually was duly elected, chances are you're going to get subpoenaed for some shit. Chances are. It's just my opinion. <clears throat> I could be wrong. That is our opinion, of course. Yes, allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. I I'm going to let you take this one because I'm just. All right. I I'm out of booze. <laughs> White House Joe Biden tells Swiss audience we yield our rights to a government. That is unbelievable. First of all, our rights come from. Well, who's that guy up there? Yeah. God! Yeah. They're inalienable rights. Inalienable, am I saying that? Inalienable rights. Yeah. They're yeah. Which means they are recognized as uninfringible by government. Correct. They are not granted to you by the government. So it, it still cracks me up that leftists to this day really, really try to say that the Second Amendment only applies to the military. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. In the 18th century, the militia was any able-bodied man of fighting age. Pure and simple. The militia was the people. Uh, and here's another thing most people don't know. All right. Back in the day, when you reached the age of ascension, which was anywhere between 15 and 17, <clears throat> anytime some shit went down, they can come to your house, deputize you, and you went off to you know do what the bidding of, of the sheriff or the government. Or they can come get you to put out fires. Or they came and yeah. got you to fight real wars. Oh, I mean, b b back in like the old west, you, I mean, you didn't have fire trucks. No. You had a bucket brigade. You know That's what right. that means? Third degree burns. That's what that means. A lot of people got smoked. You know, and like they, uh, they come in, they say you have a, a big gang comes in and attacks your town, runs off with the money from the bank. Yep. Guess what? The sheriff is, uh, you know, deputizing some people, saying, yo, 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 you, 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 uh, exactly. let's go. And you might not come back. Mm -hmm. it's just, uh, <laughs> uh, and also, here, our police department does not have an obligation to protect you or your property whatsoever. And that is a Supreme Court decision. Yeah. It's, that is supported by the Supreme Court, which I'm not shocked about, by the way. Yeah. <clears throat> so traitors. guess what? Traitors! Sorry. That Second Amendment applies. And in my in my opinion, in the opinion of many other people in this country, uh, the local populace should have the ability to have weapon systems on par with the standing military. Absolutely. And I, to I fully support that. It, it just cracks me up that they think... You know, well, they didn't really mean this. They didn't really mean that. How the fuck do you know what they meant? They there. The left is notorious for trying to apply modern sensibilities to classical ideals. Mm -hmm. They do this all the time. Yeah. That's why they try to cancel culture everything, even Gone with the Wind. I think what they're doing is, what's the word for that? Gaslighting. A little bit. Yeah. Get the hell out of here. <sighs> oh, man. Oh, just, just so we're on the same page here about the Second Amendment... All gun control 
is unlawful. All gun control is not common sense gun control. It is precisely the opposite. Well, the thing is, the talking, the, the common sense gun control are just talking points to erode the Second Amendment and take away your rights. Exactly, That's all it is. You know where the, you know where gun control came from? KKK Democrats trying to keep guns out of the hands of freed slaves. That is the only impetus that it ever had, and it's still the same impetus today because they all. They think that we are all slaves, yeah, and, and that's what they want. And all of this crazy gun violence we're having, well, we didn't have that when, I don't know, there was a mother and father in the home, and people actually, couples who had kids, raised their kids. Yeah. This crazy yeah. gun violence didn't start until, what, oh, the 70s, mm -hmm. when no-fault divorce popped up. It didn't start before, you know, some ethnicities in the population went from tw from 25% of children being born out of wedlock to 75% being born out of wedlock. No, we can't we can't talk about that because that's moacisms. It's mo it's so much easier to grift by calling it moacisms and then collecting an 80 million dollar check because their lives matter, but we're not going to actually help them out. Instead, we're going to buy four mansions in mostly white neighborhoods and then put a fence around them because walls don't work. Are you talking about Black Lives Matter, dude? I was trying to be subtle. Okay, because <laughs> you, you said 80 million dollars, right? Over 80 million dollars last year alone. No, it's more than that now. What well, is now? I'm saying last year alone, 80 million. But the thing is, is that they have several other organizations that connect to them. Oh, I'm sure. It's that, like in the that's billion. just it's what they're in the billions. That's just what they're claiming on paper. Billions, probably. All right, billions, billions. I just with a billions, B. billions with a B, just like our vice president. She's a B, <laughs> She's and she likes her DP as a VP. If you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. But, oh, hang on. But, oh, no, we've already seen her. Ah, oh, uh, there's that's, another yeah, one. That's a good one. Okay. Don't take our word for it. Take it from the man himself. Here we go. How could I be the president of the United States of America and not speak out? Actually, I'm, I really would like an answer to the first part of that question. Against the violation of human rights. I told him that unlike other countries, including Russia, we're uniquely a product of an idea. You've heard me say this before again and again, but I'm going to keep saying it. Because that's the only way he remembers anything. What's that idea? We don't derive our rights from the government. We possess them because we're born, period. Okay, I actually agree with that. All right, yeah, yeah. And we yield them to a government. <laughs> there we go. You see how you start with a good idea and then you drop trow and shit all over it? You don't yield them to the government. <laughs> I'm sorry. That, that so means... So the forum, I pointed out to him that that's why we're going to raise our concerns about cases like Alexei Navalny. I made it clear to President Putin that we'll continue to raise idiot. issues of fundamental human rights. He, he made it clear to President Putin, huh? Is that why the, the, the French president who got bitch slapped by a soy boy put his finger in Joe Biden's face and lectured to him like a child? Oh, yeah, you're totally making everything clear to people who clearly have way more testosterone and brain power than you. <laughs> that ain't happening. Now, next, next one is <laughs> Joe Biden says he gave Putin... Uh, Putin, a list of 16 areas of critical infrastructure that's, that should, should be off, off limits. <laughs> These are the things he made clear to President Putin. These are the th 16 things that I don't want you to attack, so please don't attack him, okay? But everything else is <laughs> everything open else. game. Everything else is open game. Or wouldn't you be like, you know, I know I'm not supposed to touch that. But since you told me, I can't keep my hands off it. I got to go for it. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like when somebody tells you, it's like, well, you're not supposed to look at a woman's titties. What's the, the first th thing Those are do? a private part. You're not supposed to, well, now I kind of want to look at them. You <laughs> know, my buddy Gary and I used to have a thing in high school. We'd be like, yeah, did you see such and such as <laughs> cashmere sweater? I'd be like, why, <laughs> yeah, yes. I did. why yes, I did. Yeah, I really like the tassels on said 
cashmere yeah. sweater. <laughs> Looks like a cantaloupe cut in half and has a couple of M&Ms taped to it from the inside. It's quite fantastic. No, I remember we talked like that in this one class, and we had Mr. Boyvin, and he would just laugh because he knew exactly what we were talking about. <laughs> he would literally sit there and be like, boingy, boingy, boingy. Oh, it was good times, good times. I can't believe I, I talked about the proposition that certain critical infrastructure should be off limits to attack, period, by cyber or other means. Wow. I'm yeah, kind of it's, it's brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah, this guy's an idiot. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm so, oh my God. Holy shit. You might as well have just said, okay, here's where all the secrets are hid, okay? Can you just go anywhere but here? Yeah, like that's going to work. Uh, yeah, because that works every time. Not. <sighs> what a, oh, my God. See, see, this is why I need more booze. I'm, I need some cold brew. <laughs> uh, and the, uh, the next one is his approved list of reporters. Oh, my personal favorite. Yeah. See, right. this is why you can totally trust the media. It, it, listen to him. The, the, like, there is nothing that we can say. This guy keeps telling us. He already told us. I know of, about the the uh, stunning and brave erection. Yep. Now, I mean, this guy is. Oh, play it. Play it. Yeah, ah! there, is, there, is, ah! <laughs> there is nothing we can say that will speak better than this. For five million dollars, that ransomware hit in the United States. I looked at him. I said, well, "How would you feel if ransomware took on the pipelines from your oil fields?" said it would matter. Huh. This is not about just our self-interest. Of course it's it is. It's about a mutual self-interest. I'll take your questions, and as usual, folks, they gave me a list of the people I'm going to call on. So, uh, <laughs> Jonathan, Associated Press. <laughs> what a goddamn idiot. It's one thing to see it written down or to hear us say it. But he's, he's the guy doing it. Whoa. He is. We should, we should you know what we should do. How dare you? We should put together a quick video of all the times he tells on himself. Oh. You know what? I'm sure there's a Biden supercut out there of him saying all this shit. There's got to be. If there isn't, then we need to make it. Uh, or, or Jen Psaki. There's got to be a supercut of her all, all the times that she said she's going to circle back and then never does. I wonder if they could turn that into like a song like uh, Boil a Mash and Put Them in a Stew or something. Boil a Mash and Put Them in a Stew. <laughs> Potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually kind of funny. <laughs> circle back. Circle, circle back. back. Circle back. Or Two steps or, to the left, circle back. <laughs> or uh, what's uh, they could uh, we could redo that song by Little Richard, Long Tail Sally, or whatever it's called, Long Tall Sally. Oh yeah, and, and do Circle Mustang Back Sally. Sally, Circle Back Sally. Yeah, yeah, Circle Back Sally. Circle Back Sally, why don't you go to Circle Back with your pants down? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's hilarious. That is absolutely hilarious. We're going to hell, man. But it's okay. Just think about this: the President of the United States gets flashcards. That he reads verbatim. Uh -huh. He gets a list of approved reporters that he has to call on. They scream at him any time that he attempts to go off script. Yes, and his and his <laughs> nurse wife leads him around. Yeah, she leads him around like a puppy dog. God damn it! Or, or like an old dog that can't learn any new tricks other than pissing and shitting on himself, which I'm sure he does on a daily basis, or what Doctor Jill calls a Thursday night. Yep. <laughs> oh. Oh, goodness gracious. Let's do some more Super Chats, and then we'll get into the next section. What do you think? All right, let's do it. Because I need a break. My blood pressure's going up. I need a break from that. All right. Your blood pressure, is that what? You want to run a monitor? Or should we check it? No, I'm good. You good? More more cold brew? Yeah, I might need Cold to. brew is necessary. We're going to jump on over here to MGTOW.TV. MGTOW, MGTOW K-Dups with two $2 donations. So a wife and a husband are resetting their password for their computer. The wife asks what the password should be. Without thinking, the husband puts in my penis. Then the wife fails to ground, falls to the ground laughing because the computer says, error, password, too short. <laughs> okay, that is, that is a little funny. That's good, that's good. <laughs> uh, I have to say it again, Buck Fiden. Are you? Yeah, absolutely. I'm cool with that. Oh, and more from MGTOW K-Dubs on here. Two more donations. Why isn't there a pregnant Barbie doll? <laughs> Ken came in another box. 
<laughs> What's the difference between being hungry and being horny? I have no idea. Where you put the cucumber. <laughs> oh, okay. Or the peanut butter if you're Hunter Biden. <laughs> J.S. St- Stillman with a $10 donation. Thank you so much. What's my number? I can still taste hops number nine. Doing better. Thanks to you guys. Also, don't know whether to thank you or curse you for introducing me to Jameson Cold Brew. I'm telling you, that shit is so good. And Lauren blames us. Yeah. I miss you, honey. We're going to have you back again. That was a good time. She got so wasted in that last stream. She got pretty hammered. <laughs> it's okay, though. It is okay. Hey, you know, we're all friends here. Yeah, yeah. Things happen. Sometimes you get drunk and you do silly shit. It is what it is. Yeah. It's all good. Oh, yes. We're going to jump on over here back to YouTube. Oh, I got to bust up here. Actually, you know what? Let's go over here to Streamlabs first. Oh, Pulse Kebab, and he loves the Bane Connery. Pulse Kebab donated $25. Gentlemen, here's some monies. Get yourself something nice, as in booze. All right. Nobody cared who I was till I put on the mask. <laughs> Rogue thinker, you got those. Making sure there's no other here. Oh wow, this is actually ta- like putting in YouTube super chats for a change. EG, thanks Streamlabs. You fucked our data for like a minute straight and made everybody buffer the stream. And that, but you know, at least your comment system's working. <laughs> and Jimmy Bones, BBC now has three meanings. Brain, British Broadcasting Company, Big Black you Rooster. Mean- and Biden border crisis. <laughs> so, <laughs> wow. I agree. He's absolutely correct. I like it. Uh, good stuff. I don't go through here. Make sure. Do, 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 do. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Uh, there we go. Michael Pelletier with a $10 donation. Having Blake throw dicks at Pop and spinning him up is what we patrons, subscribers, and chatters pay for. Redentes ad mortem in Pop we trust. Much love, no homo, hashtag dating confessions. Okay. So, much love, no homo is your dating confession? <laughs> you have a little problem there? You give a little balls deep there in your, your little social life there? Is your password too short? <laughs> Good stuff. Thank oh, you all very God. much for the donations, guys. We appreciate every single one of them. Dinoside 13, not personal, just a glimpse into the brainwashed. My mom believes that one-sixth of rioters deserve everything they get because sedition, yet claims all violence from BLM was Oath Keeper and 3% infiltration because Antifa is a right-wing black flag op. Well, not according to the uh, contact trees that we were emailed. Uh, we took... We- we actually showed them on the screen, was it a week, two weeks ago? Mm-hmm. They already have it mapped out for, like, the people for BLM and Antifa and the the, the um, militia and patriot groups. They, they know who you're calling. I mean, they have computer programs that do that. And they don't even need a warrant to get that stuff from the phone company. So you're fucked. What? This is my face when I see somebody who thinks Antifa is a right-wing black flag op. Yeah, get the hell out of here. Do, do the grunt face for me. You know how to. Huh? No, I mean. I mean, how how good is the shit you're smoking? Well, the thing is, <laughs> is you and I both know that, you know, Antifa or BLM, whenever they do anything motivated because of race or whatever, those stats get Oh, yeah, I, I was All just right. going to say, you know, like, no, technically, according to the bipartisan think tank, she's 100% correct. Yeah, but, the, you know. When monkeys fly out of my ass. <laughs> Stop. Don't touch me there. This is my no-no square. You got to do the dance, man. I'm not singing it for my health. Come on, I can't do the do dance, it. man. Do it. Stop. Don't touch me there. This is my no-no square. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> yeah, and that costs 2 million euros to be filmed in the back of a classroom. On the back of a classroom with somebody's phone in vertical mode. Somebody's smartphone. Yep. Oh, my God. It's, seriously, like, dudes, people who film videos in vertical mode, uh, are you handicapped? <laughs> you can't. You're like, oh, yeah, this go. Oh, wait. That's all it takes. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, well, he should know he's a cameraman. I'm just saying, like, it really crusts the shit in my underwear when shit like that happens. 
Uh, there, there's not actually shit in my underwear. Oh, I just made another joke, and now I'm just going to pay for it. Uh, Too much booze, not enough not enough brain. Let's, let's hit the next one. <laughs> Dinoside 13. I say that because all she hears is establishment media and NPR. That is how far the propaganda has warped the views of tens of millions of Americans, just like the Nazis blamed Jews for trying to start a world war to kill Aryans to justify persecution. Yep, I haven't even haven't listened to the radio since the election. Well, why would you? I, I don't. I, I don't watch any mainstream media. I mean, or what's listen to anything? What's the point? I don't. Ugh. Jail. Uh, what do we got here? Double check. Got another here. one. Yeah, it's all these YouTube chats are busting it up. Ascension. There we go. Ascension jokes. We got jokes. What is the difference between a policeman and a bullet? I don't know. <laughs> At least when a bullet kills someone, it's fired. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's valid. I it works, yeah. Arrow showgun. I'm trying to think of various weapons training ideas, and one thing that you don't get at a shooting range is a moving target. Would going feral hog hunting in the fields of Texas with my yes. AR-15 be a good idea? You can hunt them without restrictions in Florida and Texas. Yes. My brother-in-law does that. He does? Yes. Hmm. Well, you want to go hang out with him sometime? <laughs> I, I could arrange that. He'd probably enjoy himself. Yeah, me and my buddy Pete would go down there and bring all of our good stuff. Heck yeah, man. Uh, our buddy Jeffrey, who wrote wrote the song for the uh, the countdown of the show, uh, lives in Dallas. Huh? So you want to go feral hog hunting, Jeff? <laughs> bring it on, man. I'll film it. That's actually that's actually <laughs> pretty good. Uh, yeah, that's actually uh, very effective. Might get banned for this one. What? Ascension! What do you call a gay person on fire? <laughs> LGBBQ. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were flaming. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many layers to that. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> I enjoy that very much. That is pretty good. Oh, man. Let's <laughs> Jumping back over here to YouTube. Keith Hardy, our favorite photographer with a $9.99 donation. You guys need a third. The Holy Trinity. I'll bring the cold brew. Yeah, we're going to have you on the show, Keith. Don't worry. You're a good dude. He's a funny guy to talk to as well. He, he winds up sending me half of the shit that I <laughs> that we use for material in these streams because he sends me stuff all day long. He's like, dude, you got to see this. This is going to spin you up. You're going to fucking love this. Like, oh, man. We got about 20 guys that send us stuff, which I, we all appreciate. We go through it all. Ratman. Ah, Ratman. Joe Marisol, Honey Jack Daniels and Dominican Cigars. Just the right amount of sweet, just the right amount of spicy. Not a fan of cigars, but I'll drink the booze. I'm not a cigar guy myself, but I will drink that booze all day I, long. I'll drink that booze. Dub has a $5 donation, but no comment attached. So, sir, if you did have a comment, apparently YouTube uh, censored it. So I apologize. If you guys don't want your comments to be censored, streamlabs.com slash redonkulous pop. Hook it up. Or you can go to MGTOW.tv or Odyssey. Crazy Uncle with a $5 donation. People watch this stream to see pop get spun up, more spun up than an LGBTQ WTF LOL with a case of lockjaw on Valentine's Day. <laughs> okay. Oh. Labia gargle and ball torque and queers. Oh, God. Loose gay. But. Butt twerking queers. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get banned for that one. Yeah, that's time. that's fine. Yeah. Sooner or later, it's gonna happen. Regardless, we could follow every rule to the letter from matter. now until the day one of us dies. YouTube is still gonna get rid of us. Yeah, it's inevitable. We are over a thousand people watching. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Outstanding. We appreciate every view and every donation. Evil Zombie Toe. POC are overrepresented in vehicle wrecks, but also POC don't know how to get IDs to vote. Systemic Supreme Pizza strikes again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, think about it. If they're overrepresented in automobile accidents, but they don't know how to get IDs, aren't they going to get arrested for driving without a license? Nope. They don't do that anymore. <sighs> they don't even arrest you for Well, driving. not arrested, but you're going to get fined for it. Until okay. you show up in court with an ID, right? And then they waive it. Or, and they won't even uh, they won't even arrest you for like getting in an accident and not having insurance. Jail. Yeah, it's great. Great. The wall. 
politicians lying about a crisis? No, it wouldn't happen. Not like it didn't happen to the pre-Hellenistic Greeks, the Hellenistic Greeks, the Egyptians, the Romans, the Carthaginians, and pretty much every other civilization. And the list goes on. Yep. Uh, uh, Soviet Union, Chernobyl. Oh, it was totally just a fire. Yeah. <laughs> uh. They really couldn't. They couldn't hide that it was too big. But we, they still tried. They tried, but we were we watched it from space. <laughs> we were picking up on their telemetry. We knew the deal. Yep. Uh, the enlightened Mister Peabody. Politics is wrestling for gay dudes. <laughs> Actually, when you when you look at professional wrestling, wrestling is wrestling for gay dudes. <laughs> Well, the thing is, is the way the way our government's being run now, it's like one giant like mud wrestling pit. <laughs> and it's so dirty and stupid. And all that mud is coming from Stretch and Gretchen's butthole. Yep. I couldn't have said it any better. Yeah. <laughs> she does she doesn't even have to strain to take a shit. Yeah. She just sits down and she says Hoover's and it, it sounds like somebody turning the crank on a cement truck. <laughs> 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 oh my god <laughs> oh i hope you're watching honey <laughs> you are in biatcha in heat she's an idiot and she looks just like bruce jenner she does it's really disturbing i i, I can't believe that none of none of the recall uh petitions went anywhere <laughs> that, that's that is how corrupt our our, our court system is here in michigan Yep. They're all like we're, we're torn down. It is such oh, bullshit. Th that Macomb County decision with the two kids and, and the dude. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. You're talking Mr. The, the, the one who, who nearly got decapitated. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's still, uh, that sticks in my crawl to this day. That is pure evil injustice in its, just in its raw form. You can't. Yeah, yeah. I hear you. But it's different when, well, you, 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 when you genuinely didn't see it coming. But when someone is telling you, it's warning hey, you, it's this, warning this you. is what's happening. I've seen it with my own two eyes. She's with somebody who's unstable. You need to take care of this shit. And then his kids, one of them winds up dead. The other one winds up with her head nearly cut off. I'm sorry. Um, that was evil, and it wasn't for best interest of the child. It was because yeah, and you wanted to milk money from Social Security under Title IV-D. Well, here's another side note. As the father, you and you go to CPS to complain, even if you have proof, they don't listen to you. Of course not. They do not Because you. you're the one feeding money into the system. That's why I'm doing administrative violence and telling yep. you how to do it. If, if the custody system was really about best interest of the child, they would automatically be placed with the parent that was financially able to support that child on their own. 85% of the time, that is not the case. When something that evil flies in the face of empirical reality, <clears throat> there's only one reason for it. Money. 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 All right, let's move on. Kiss my ass. Get me that, spun up here. I hope that judge gets disbarred or gets a JFK haircut. That, that, they, they haven't been disbarred yet, so. Oh, really? Yeah. Maybe I'm going to be honest. Maybe we should send when a Pringles gets, can full of it, shit. When it gets to that point, disbarment is not a not a steep enough punishment. Pringles it, can full of shit. No. It, 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 I, I, in my opinion, it should be much worse. For starters, okay. Pringles can full of shit. Just okay. to make them wonder, why would someone do that to me? A and then the JFK haircut. Okay. Yeah, sure. Just to, it gets them looking over their shoulder. <laughs> Where's the next Pringles can going to come from? <laughs> Are they going to throw it know. at me? Is but it going to show up is, in my inbox? I, you know, this is what I, I've, people don't seem to understand. Histor and this isn't me speaking. This is, this is history. When you no longer can get action from your courts or your government, people will seek action outside the sphere of government and the courts. Mm. That has proved out time and time again since we started writing shit down Yep. 6,000 years ago. It's going to happen again yep. because we're evil, hairless monkeys. It is basically cooked into our DNA. That, that's just how it is. That's right. And if you guys want your own evil, hairless monkey shirt, go to patrolbase.net because they are on sale now. 
<laughs> if you haven't seen them, yeah, I'll just bring it up here because I'm, I'm, I'm going to let you know what's what here. What? Wait, what? what? That's not right. Uh, is it? Are they down? They better not be. I'd be pissed. <laughs> oh, no, it's crypto dot fashion. Okay, right. that's what it is. Go over here. Redonkulous. Oh, here it there is. There it is. This beautiful, beautiful piece of art done for us by Steph Marcinkowski. Check it out. Evil hairless monkey currently for sale. Go to either crypto.fashion or patrolbase.net. It'll take you to the same place. Get yourself one. If you look closely there at where the the, uh, the beer steins are, it says, boom, beer me. Amen. And a women. That's gay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get you one of those shirts. I'm gonna make you wear it on the show because it's awesome. Well, we we ordered four of them, so excellent. Mm -hmm. All right, Tracy Wilborn with a 666 donation. Nice number. Just slammed a cold brew and a coke. It's hot as hell, 107 degrees Fahrenheit, and I am cooked. Here's some to help keep you lubed up. No, Blake, not that kind of lube. Hey, 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 hey. no homo. Alcohol, not literal lube. Mm. Gee, thanks for clearing that up. Sherlock. <laughs> Ascension! What do you call an autistic kid with a gun? What? Special forces. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, that's great. Okay, okay, that's funny. All right. Oh, shit. Uh, Jimmy Bones with a $10 donation. Blake, you ran yourself out of Brid Dog. No, I believe it's called Bird Dog. You dyslexic bastard. The first mate of the gay crews can't have that now. Let me know your coordinates, and I'll have one sent ASAP. All right, cool. I'll do that. I got your number, bro. Thank you very much. Crusader Nate. Pop and Blake having a background in pre-IRB research. I would suggest looking into and reading about what has been going on in modern media and society and read the books written by Dr. Phil Zimbardo and Dr. Stanley Migram. Okay. I'm totally down. I, I read every night. <clears throat> uh, Ecto Merck, finding you guys helped me escape my schizo starving artist wife. I, 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 you know, never ever bang the starving artist. We said that what? on 500 Miles of Mr. Right, and it's just we are as up true to for three, women. We are, we are now up to 370. You know. 370 lives saved. This one, did, he didn't say that, but, you know, I, we, we're still close. We're, we're still good. Yeah, you know, we still helped him. That's good. I was driven to literally ripping my hair out. I know people with that condition. Also, I recommend 10th Mountain Whiskey and Spirits Bourbon. You can find it online, and it was cre crafted in honor of my old unit. 10th Mountain Spirits. Sure. Yeah, I, I, uh, I worked with them in uh, when I was in Utica, New York. Nice. Yeah. Hey, i got to hit the pisser. Oh, oh here, here we, we go. go. What, what do you think? Deep fake or fat punisher? Fat punisher. And now, performing another classical work, The Great Wackerotti. Oh, oh God, this is making me burp like a mother Is still peeing, but I got me some Jameson Black Barrel because we still have more failure yet to review and more super chats yet to read. So let's check it out. President Biden with another five dollar donation. Hey Blake, delete my comments if it's gonna get popping YouTube butt hurt mode. I'm sorry, just trying to get the truth out there. Now we're not gonna delete your comments, dude. Don't worry about it. Trust me. If <laughs> If following the rules actually kept us in YouTube's good graces, we would never have strikes. 
we continuously follow the rules, at least as far as we understand them, and it never seems to matter. You are correct. You are correct. I mean, shit, you watch the, our streams, and we, we bend over backwards with verbal gymnastics trying to avoid sensitive subjects, and it does us zero good. Or very little. I wouldn't yeah. say zero, but very little. Very, very little. Reaper01, hey, what can I say? Wango Tango training works. <laughs> Pop, I'm planning to use a drone for air recon during Zombie Land. Any thoughts? Black straws, please. Well, the thing is... Uh, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> man, I hit the ceiling. Uh, hey, hey, God damn it! it's three straws, man. <laughs> damn it, that computer is like a fucking piece of body armor. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch. That's four in a row. That's all uh, my black ones. All uh, right. Hey, hey. Oh. God damn it. Now, what, what was the question? <laughs> uh, what do you think about using a drone for air recon during Zombie Land? Uh, of course. Yeah. Anytime you can uh, get a heads up and get a visual of the battlefield and know what's coming, it's, an always, it's always a plus. Absolutely. Bill Whitfield with a twenty dollar donation. Love the show. Tell these feathers about tell these fellas about gay chicken. I don't know anything about gay chicken. What are you talking about? Yes, you do. No. You ate it on the cruise. Oh shut the fuck up. <laughs> uh, or gay P nice, maybe is what he's talking about. Nah, I have no idea what that's nobody, nobody you don't know any Bill Whitfield? Uh No, nah, it doesn't ring a bell. You don't know anything about no gay chicken, huh? I don't, I don't know. Gage. I don't know. Somebody's afraid to face some stuff from his past. Just... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Quim drinker. Oh my god. <laughs> Shane Schleicher with a four ninety nine donation with message retracted. Message retracted or deleted? Let us know, Shane, because if you got censored, that's kind of some BS. Yeah. I paid us. Speaking of seeing human remains, I listened to your story on when that family hit that granite mountain. Holy crap. Yeah, it, I, it was more like sandstone. Yeah, but it's the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sandstone and shale. Still sounds bad. It was bad. Everyone was de deader than shit except the baby, the baby in a car car seat. Ooh. Yeah, you, you remember that story, don't you? Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was the thing that really blew my well, like blew my noggin was like the uh, it was either the mother or the grandmother was like in the back. And and they they had bench seats in the vehicle, and she hit the the front bench seat so hard the top of her skull popped off, and the yeah. skull cap and brains were, were all on the dashboard. Horrid, horrid. Oh, uh, we just got a clarification on what gay chicken is. What? That's when you push homo stuff to the max and see which one of you buckles first. We already know which one of us would win. I would not do well in that. No, you would not. I would not do well. I mean, hey, hey, yeah. hey, <laughs> hey, get away from me, man. And Terrence Pop doesn't mind a little monking now and then. Oh, God. Yeah, you know, if people like getting their shit shoved in. God damn it. Of what we call in the industry a fudge packing. <laughs> <laughs> Chocolate fudge. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Get your fat space ass back here. <laughs> anyway, Shane Schleicher again. Respect to your message. Simplify to all your supporters. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Soul Invictus with a $50 donation. And I'm not sure what this is. Uh, it looks like a face with two small Mario castles on either side of it. And then a penis pointing at one of them. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I that think that's is? your fucked in the head. <laughs> I guess it is. Yeah, there we go. I'm totally cool with that. Yeah, fucked in the head. I'm cool with that. <laughs> Smooth criminal. Jeff Dunham's Walter is smarter than Biden. You're damn right. Absolutely correct. Welcome to Walmart. Get your shit and get out. JL, JFK once said, we do Trudeau's mom not because she is easy, but because we are hard. <laughs> Oh, oh, that is good. Winning. That is, oh my God, that is great. <laughs> Ooh. And she's also easy. <laughs> Just going to put that out there. It, I mean, you very rarely see black and white candid photos taken of a woman's bush out in public. Yeah, I guess so. 
I mean, if she's willing to do that in that time and place. Somebody's getting their tonsils buttered <laughs> on the regular with Cuban butter Ugh. and cigars. Ah! Oh. <laughs> God, this is nasty, bro. I know. Joe Marisov with a $10 donation. In the Bible, thou shalt not kill, translated from Hebrew was thou shalt not murder, which was killing someone unjustly. God gave man permission to kill. Well, I'm not going to tell you you're wrong. Holy war. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Well, I think the Spanish Inquisition showed us all their real stance on that stuff. Well, you know, I'm just going to tell you, sometimes people just need a killing. It's true. That is true. Because violence settles everything yes. in the long run. I have paid us. Oh, well, the Chinese want to invade? I have an M4 named suppository. <laughs> I wonder if you can guess where it goes. <laughs> <laughs> Fourth point of contact? Yeah. Well, the thing is... Booty hole? Colon? Shit spewer? <laughs> the turd tunnel. <laughs> turd tunnel? Hershey Highway. Uh, highway 235. <laughs> <laughs> No internet, bruh. Look in the book of Genesis really closely. The left is under emotions, and most of the right, my AA community, is under a gynocracy. And then you'll see the book of Revelations. It's inevitable. Mm -hmm. It's coming. Yep, all over your face, neck, back, and thighs. Not in a good way. Oh, no, definitely not. Stephen Kent with a $20 donation. Let me put it into perspective. In the 1700s, the Second Amendment covered every form of weapon up to and including warships. In today's world, that means people should be able to own fully equipped aircraft carriers with aircraft. Well, that would be very expensive, but I would settle for having a tank. I'd be totally cool with that myself. Yeah. And, you know, that'd be cool. Like, you could buy, like, a light tank. Yeah. It's, like, wheeled. It's not really super expensive. Yeah, it just... Has maybe a 30 millimeter, like, uh, you know, cannon in it. Yeah. You know, whatever. That'd be kind of cool. Semi-automatic, of course. Just park it on your front lawn and make sure that those watchtower people don't show up on a Saturday morning. I'm trying to sleep in! <laughs> Fuck off! No, I think that'd be cool. I, I would love to own a tank if I could afford it. Yeah. Of course, I, you know, I'm sure I would have a hell of a time trying to get one that actually fired true. at a cannon that worked. <laughs> That's just a mountain of paperwork as it is. That's true. Thank you for that one, Stephen Kent. Black magic. Just yield your God-given rights. Sure, that works every time. Never ends in genocide and atrocities. Come at me, fascists. I'm spun up. Yeah, here we go. Well, I mean, when you look at history... Everything that the Biden administration is doing, up to and including an ideological purge of its own military, was a precursor to fascism and or bad genocide. Stuff. Bad stuff. Yes. Just say bad stuff. Bad stuff. Bad stuff. Yeah, because it's already played out in Russia, did it in Germany, did it in China. Okay, it's bad stuff. Just yeah, just say bad it's stuff. a precursor to what, what in the butt butt. Yeah, just say bad stuff. <laughs> That's what it is. Bad stuff covers everything. We're, we're good. In Bad. the butt stuff. Well, well, some of us, like our, our current governor, are, are into the butt stuff, but some of us run screaming in the other direction, and the only thing that's left is a vapor trail leading up to a whiny Blake-shaped hole in the fucking wall. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. Get out of here, baby. The enlightened Mr. Peabody. Republicans who think the word Nick Gers is, b Nick Gers is bad is just liberals with trucks. Yeah, you're really close to the line on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it took me a second to realize what I was reading. You. And then I was like, oh, wow. It almost tricked you into it. I'm like Kyle's dad on Wheel of Fortune. That's like, that's, uh, like a, that's like a prank call trick you do at the airport. The category is people who annoy you. You have five seconds. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to solve the puzzle. No, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Uh, you're, uh, that was that was that was uh, well played. Oh, well, well played. I, I, I tell you, my favorite part of that is when the black cameraman is just like, <laughs> <laughs> That's the funniest shit ever. Uh, that that I don't care how old that is. Uh, every time I watch that episode, I piss myself laughing at that part. I can't believe they got that by the censors, <laughs> man. That was hilarious. Ooh. And, and yeah, and it, they didn't bleep it out or anything when nope. it was aired on TV. I, I saw it the first time on TV. I'm like, no way they'd say that. They actually snuck one past on Family Guy one time. Oh, yeah? Not, not that particular word. But uh, they were, I want to say they were going through 
like the used car dealership or something, and Brian's like, look at all these Hummers. What kind of idiot would drive one of those? And then it cuts to a dude on the road, and he's watching a movie while he's driving. He's like, dude, this car kicks ass, and I can watch Madagascar while I'm driving. Dude, those animals are so fucking funny, it makes me want to merge without looking. <laughs> they snuck the fucking by the censors. Yeah, you should watch The Family Guy. That, that, that shit is hilarious. Oh, yeah. Well, they should all... <laughs> They show it. Oh, oh man, it is insane. When Brian can't help but bark at the black neighbors, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. I, I'm, I'm not that way. I promise. I, <laughs> <laughs> Joe Marisol with another oh, five dollar donation with Pop down. getting all our donations. How about Pop buys a battleship and we all man it? Yes, the SS drinking straw. Let the age of pop begin. Well, a battleship is kind of obsolete now, but thank you for the thought. Well, what would you want? Uh, a just one of the newer destroyers. Oh, okay. Because they have all the whiz bang stuff, cutting edge, and a destroyer is not like a World War II destroyer where they got flicked off the ocean like a booger. <laughs> <laughs> they have like good cannons, Boom. good missiles. I mean, they're actually a force to be reckoned with. They have torpedoes. They have everything. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Sounds like a good time. D. Wolf's Froth with a dollar donation. Thank you, sir. No comment there. So if you had one, it was deleted. I apologize. Not the not the the, the wrenches. It's YouTube. Uh, oh, excuse me. Keith Harney with another nine ninety nine donation with the same comment. He must have thought I missed the last one. I didn't, but your buddies appreciate it all the same. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Jeremy Morgan, Pop Blake. My friend is about to make a batch of cantaloupe shine. Here in North Carolina, do y'all want me to send you some? <laughs> Fuck yeah! <laughs> Are you out of your goddamn mind? If he can get drunk with it, he wants it. That's just moral of the story. Jeffrey Paul, those pigs are cockroaches. We hunt them with dogs. Yeah, my buddy. My so buddy Jeffrey's gone. Yeah. Uh, he's gone hog hunting down there. No, I had a friend of mine that used to do the hog hunting in Arkansas. And he would put Kevlar blankets on his dogs to protect them from the tusks. Oh, no shit. Yeah, because he would go after them with uh, pit bull mix, something or other. Oh, yeah, I told you about my brother-in-law's dog. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude, that dog is like, he's like half the size of a horse. He was like up to my waist. Yep. And, you know, you could tell that if you fucked around, you were going to find out with that dog. But he was the sweetest dog ever. Until it was, until it was required not to be. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's like, always a bad day. Yeah, the, the, you couldn't even, it, the kids who live there can't even, like, play fight. Because if they do, and the dog thinks that somebody's in danger, mm -hmm. <laughs> Hey, what's going on here? That's not going to go well for anybody. Don't, don't, make, nah, don't make me side check everyone in this room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that an ankle? It looks delicious. No, no. <laughs> Come my, here. Uh, my, my buddy had a, a really big dog, and he had a couple young kids. And the dog would literally come out there. And, like, just side-check them and knock them down. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. It was hilarious. I'm like, why is your dog doing that? He goes, ah, they're being assholes. The dog just done. The dog's done. When the dog side-checks you, it's over. <laughs> just take your toys and go to your room. <laughs> that, was, that was good. That was pretty funny. Soylent Green with a $5 donation. Blue Waffle, Rainbow Kiss, or Dirty Sanchez. Which brand is your favorite? <coughs> None. <laughs> oh, you don't like the Rainbow Kiss? I want nothing to do with that. I don't... You, you need to tell them about that time on the gay cruise. If you don't, I will. <laughs> my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Dirty Sanchez. I remember going to see Dodgeball for the first time. Mm -hmm. They go to a bar called the Dirty Sanchez. I'm in a theater full of people. I'm the only sick son of a bitch laughing. <laughs> I'm laughing. Everybody's looking at me like I'm nuts. And then finally I passed the word down. I was like, they're at a bar called the Dirty Sanchez. And then all of a sudden it's like this wave of laughter suddenly filters throughout the entire theater. I'm like, nice to you motherfuckers to catch up. <laughs> God. Irish Lover 7745. Pop, do you prefer Lapua Mag or 300 Win Mag? Uh, the 300 Win Mag, the ammunition's uh, cheaper and easier to load. Though the 3.3 the three three Lapua does have good ballistics out to like 1,300, 1,500 meters. You know, Lapua sounds like you're describing Mexican punani. Yeah, yeah. But no, it's a, it's a you know, it's a caliber of weapon. <laughs> it, it's pretty good. Yeah. I love Lapua. 
before it chases me with a bat. Yeah, but the thing is with like the three three at Lapua, it's insanely expensive per round. The three hundred wind mags, you know, a lot cheaper, easier to reload. Yeah. Oh no. So this is this is what happens when you know like people who are in the chat have my phone number. <sighs> Keith just sent me something we're going to have to talk about some other time, or maybe you can integrate it into your next Lair video. Nellis Air Force Base hosted its first ever drag queen show. I think I'm going to add that to the Lair when I talk about the battalion commander who said <gasps> white, white privilege was up. I'll send you a link to it yeah, after it, to, I'm done puking. To my email. To my email. To your email. After I'm done puking, because that's disgusting. Bloody kun. Well, you couldn't put the T at the end, otherwise they would throw you off YouTube. <laughs> hey, Pop, here's five bucks. All right. <laughs> D. Wolf's Froth with another $5 donation. Dumpster fire was a phrase meant to shock and disgust to convey the degree of disaster, yet it fails to describe the current administration. No, no. What our right. current, the words I would use now is, we're fucked. <laughs> not in a good way. Yeah, not in a good way. Not in a uh, Gretchen Whitmer trying to pretend she's still a virgin way. Yeah, we're fucked. We're fooked. We're fook and it's a fact. Watch fook facts. <laughs> Check it out. That was actually a pretty funny video. <laughs> I like it, it didn't get enough love. It really did. That was a really good one. Jail. Uh, Soylent Green, seek action. Has that time come and gone already? I don't know. I hope not. Honestly, if you, if you, like, I'm with Sticks Hex and Hammer. If you guys take over your state and local governments, get on with your school boards, local elections, mayoral districts, sheriffs, departments, and things like that, that is where most of the laws that affect you on a daily basis come from, state and local regiments. Mm -hmm. Get in there, handle your business, take that shit over, steer it toward populism, and you can buttfuck this system from the ground up instead of from the top down, which is exactly what they're doing. Yep. Mm. The whole thing. Hey, it's working, man. All over the country, they're refusing to comply with this totalitarian horse shit. Yeah. And that's exactly what you want to see. That's exactly right. I now want to see more. As do I. That's why I keep saying, get involved. I have paid us. Tinfoil hat. Once the boogaloo starts, the companies that have outsourced their stuff will cut, sling, load, and pledge their allegiance to whatever country they choose. And then China will call in our debt. Actually, that is a misnomer, because China only holds a small portion of our debt. Other countries actually hold significantly more. And it's you know, just that because they're willing to abuse their labor force, our croniest corporate <laughs> assholes over here have thrown in so much with China. And all I really have to say is this. Good luck at getting that money! <laughs> because I didn't spend it. The government that we elected to represent us spent it. Listen, all I can say is, hopefully this doesn't happen, but it probably will. The two-air rifle range starts. When it's over, the side that wins, which probably is not going to be the uh, side that's there now, yep. can say, hey, the old America's gone. We're starting over. All those debts. Sorry. Damn right. Bummer. And and that, right. that is actually, that happens quite often when there's... A bunch of turmoil and upheaval in the country. True story. Speaking of things getting cock blocked, let's talk about how the gig is up. Okay. Or the jig is up, whatever you want to call it. The jig is up. Even CNN is calling out our stunning and brave most popular president ever. CNN's Jeff Zelaney. We haven't seen Joe Biden answer questions without his aides screaming at him to stop. Okay, when CNN is calling you out, you're screwing up bad somewhere. Well, first of all, CNN is going to have to start getting with the program or they're they're done. They, well, their their ratings are absolute in the shitter. Yep. And there's really nothing they could do to turn it around. You know, Brian Stelter has lost over 70% of his viewing audience since Biden took office. Good. And think about that. That is where I have to wonder when they are finally going to turn on him because they can't just keep reporting all of this mundane bullshit and massaging what's left of his cock. Mm -hmm. They have to eventually start reporting on some spicy stuff because that's the only way they're going to get views. That's the only way they're going to get ad revenue. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. Uh, Stelter should probably pack it in, retire, and then, then get the fuck out of Dodge. And, and finally go into what we know he was always meant for all along, 
gimp, cuck, gay, orn pay. That's exactly what he should be doing. Okay. Because I, I can see that's, the that's what he is in real life. Super straight. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can see the connection. I can, I can see the connection now. I can see the connection, too. Ass to mouth. <laughs> Human centipede. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, man. Oh, man. Now I'm picturing Brian Stelter dressed as the gimp from Pulp Fiction. Damn it. That was a good I movie. I did that to myself. That was a good movie, bro. It's all my fault. I, I like that movie. Well, yeah, Pulp Fiction's a great movie, but there is gay butt stuff in it. Yeah. Oh, and this <laughs> keeps popping up all over the world. Yeah. Literally. And, and, all and, over the world. And this girl here, who is she? Osama Bin Laden's niece. Yep. Read it off for us, Pop. Trump won. <laughs> Banner makes appearance in Switzerland during Biden-Putin meeting. And this has happened in other countries, too. I want to say it happened in India. I think also in Turkey. It happened in Guatemala while Come Swallow a Heels Up, <clears throat> Pull My Harris was there. Yep. Wow. Wow. Who would have thought? I'm sorry, but if people in other countries are figuring this out, what the hell is your excuse? Yep. I have no idea. If Osama bin Laden's niece can figure this out. Okay. Now, just because she's Osama bin Laden's niece doesn't mean she was on board with the crazy stuff that he did. No. You know, it doesn't. But that is something that the left will use to try and attempt to discredit stuff like this. Well, look who's holding it up. You know, but like, oh, okay, all right. So, so now we remember that September 11th was more than just some people did something. Listen. As, you know, I, I, alphabet people are walking through the streets with signs that yeah. say LGBTQ, WTF, LOL against Islamophobia. Yeah, I know. <laughs> the, they're the first ones who are going to get a rude awakening if that ever gets a foothold here. A little bit. Yeah, what was that meme that I posted on the Instagram that amazingly never got taken down? I mean, in Afghanistan, Bin Laden was a killing motherfucker. Mm -hmm. That dude killed a lot of people for nothing. Yep. I mean, I, I looked at some of the uh, TPPs and stuff, what was going on in Afghanistan early on. Yep. Wow. Wow. That stuff was insane. Yep. The whole, the whole village is wiped out because they mm -hmm. were teaching the girls how to read. I mean, that, that shit is just fucked up, man. What are you, what are you looking for? Oh, I'm just going to show a little uh, compare and contrast. Oh, okay. You know, because that's what we do here. See, now, this is stupidity mm -hmm. spread on a wheat-thin cracker. Okay? Mm -hmm. This is Queers for Palestine. You want to see Palestine for queers? That's what it looks like. That's a bad day, bro. That's a very bad day. I believe I can fly. <laughs> That has got to be like Sorry. the worst way to go. Yeah. Yeah. That, that is not cool at all. Oof. God I'm damn just it, saying, know your audience. That's terrible, man. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Know your audience. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Before you go around with your stupid little signs in the street talking about all your so called phobias, just remember the only reason you're allowed to do that is because you live in this country. That's right. The only reason you're allowed to talk <clears throat> shit and burn flags is because you live in this country. Behind the safety of five fences. You go anywhere else and try to do the same shit about those regimes? You're guess done. who's catching a bullet? Yeah, you are not long for this world if you do that in another country. Yep, good luck with that. Bastards. Ooh. Ohio trucker, pop A10 versus AC130. Which is better? Close air support. A, uh, AC130. You can actually park that. And it, it'll orbit over um, an objective for, I don't know, an hour, hour and a half. It just rain down hell. Or the A10, because it's a heavy aircraft and it, mm. it really can't stick around. His loiter time is limited, especially if it has to travel any significant distance. Sounds like good times. God, where do I know all this shit? <laughs> Man. Well, I mean, it's 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 kind of what you do. You know, I, mean, I guess you know guns, you know weaponry, you know I war. know tactics, I know how, I know I know war. That's how it goes, man. Yep. Uh, last but not least, you know, we had a few other things, but I think we're just going to have to, it's all kind of on the same subject here. The Biden administration has been getting rooster blocked 
by courts left and right. Virtually everything that he promised to try to placate the far left, short of signing Juneteenth in as a national holiday, and we all saw how that worked out. It's getting cock-blocked. So, appeals court blocks Biden administration from prioritizing grants based on race and sex. Gee, I wonder why. Could it be because that's federalized discrimination? Um, I believe we have laws against any type of uh, discrimination. So Yeah, except for affirmative action. When is that going to get outlawed again? Yeah. Asking for a friend. Yeah, that's a bunch of horseshit right there. Federal judge blocks Biden's 100-day moratorium on deportations. We mentioned that one earlier. And, of course, Biden's ban on new oil and gas leases gets blocked by a federal judge. <laughs> and those are just three examples, man. He is utter failure across the board. Utter failure. He's not even six months into his so-called presidency, and he might be the worst president in the history of the United States. Uh, no, I, I think he is. I, I think we're there. Well, yeah. I, all right. First of all, I can't. I can't talk to a lot of the presidents. I mean, the, FDR was a really shitty president. Yeah, somehow I, he got reelected four times. Yeah, I can't believe that. Oh, four times. Mm. <laughs> uh, J.S. Stillman over on MGTOW.TV said, Bro, you still didn't give me my number. So if he was 370, if, so he wants a number, so he'd be 371. Did he specifically say he's... He, said he he's, wants his number. All right, 371 it is. 371. It says, By the way, Blake, I heard that you say, It's not a bad question, Bert, a live stream or two ago. Would love to see your movie collection. Oh, it's back there. Uh-huh. <laughs> I got about, uh, I don't know, six or 700 of them. <clears throat> got a whole wall of them yeah probably then, more in boxes yeah and then i got my buddy andy who has lets me have access to his uh i had like his apple tv stuff and there's like a thousand movies on there i don't know what else he's spending his money on <laughs> but hey you know I'm not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth no nah, man that's, free movies are good you are 371 mr stillman big cow mig tau k dubs uh two nuns are redecorating a room in a convent summertime, so the room gets very hot and they decide to take off their habits and continue painting the room. Soon there's a knock at the door. Worried, Mother Superior calls out, Who's there? The visitor responds, Blind guy. The nuns look a... Where's the rest of the joke? It's It's not here. (laughs) They cut you off over there, man. Oh, dude. Sorry about that. Sorry, man. Damn it. Streamlabs. Streamlabs. I don't even know if they have a, a content... Limit on Streamlabs, or character limit, I should say. It's be something to look into. Uh, Andrew Thorsten, welcome back, good sir. How many performance artists does it take to change a light bulb? Three. One to fill the bathtub full of spaghetti, and two to paint the house black. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they must be gender studies majors. <laughs> that must be. What's your major? Underwater basket weaving? While nude. <laughs> Is that a sex worker thing? <laughs> <laughs> underwater basket I don't get it. I don't get underwater it. basket fucking. I'm just <laughs> I don't get it. Uh, D. Wolf's Froth, $5 donation. I'm being actively censored. You know, I wouldn't be surprised. So are we. Join the club. Join the club. You know what? If you're being censored, you're doing something right. Yep. Kiro Ninja to below. Blake, is it just me or watching Law Abiding Citizen again is giving me creative ideas to punish certain evil people? I love the Judge Chamber scene. You ever see that movie? That was a good movie. That was a really good movie. Back when Gerard Butler was still making good movies. He's uh, he's kind of fallen off the wagon since then. D. Wolf's Froth again. <laughs> First start by making the dumpster into an ID and L of Moloch. And said, filling said idol slash altar combo with the fetal corpses of 60 million aborted babies. I think Ouch. he's talking about uh, some kind of demonic altar with uh, fueled by... Uh, An idol of Moloch? Yeah, and uh, fueled with the corpses of aborted babies. Yeah, you know, if you, if you count abortions yeah. in the, uh, the death tally for a certain stunning and brave BIPOC culture with a 72% out of uh, wedlock birth rate, that's 61% of all homicides. It's a lot of killing. A little bit. It's a lot of killing. It's almost like Planned Parenthood is living up to its eugenic purposes. Yeah. 
Who would have thunk? Who would have thunk? Yeah. And rare yet, and rare but needed. Yeah. And yet they continue <clears throat> to push it as being it's for women, women. And, and and to insist otherwise, or to even just <laughs> to even just address the truth, the elephant in the room. Oh, there's a war on women. How dare you? You don't want us to have reproductive rights. Bullshit. Women have all the reproductive rights. That's absolutely correct. Okay. I'm just asking for a friend. And all, all men have is the right to say no. I know. I'm just asking for a friend, okay? What reproductive rights and freedoms do men have? The right to say no. That's it. That's it. Do we have the right to put a baby up for adoption without no. the consent of the other parent? Nope. Do we have the right to abort the child without the consent of the other parent? Absolutely not. Do we have the right to financially abandon it with no repercussions whatsoever? Nope. But women get the AAA insurance policy. They get to do all three. Yep. Safe haven laws are in effect nationwide. Mm -hmm. Women can take a baby they don't want, drop it off at a hospital, firehouse. I I'm sure that your ex-wife would pick it up in, <laughs> in that case. Allegedly. Allegedly. You're going to get me sued, man. <laughs> You're going to get me man. sued, man. I'm sorry. All right. <laughs> I, I, could, I could hear it in my head before you even said it. But I'm just saying, like, men don't have those rights. We don't have 48 different kinds of birth control. We don't have IUDs. We don't have birth control pills. We have pull out, put a condom on, or don't play. That's it. Yeah, and then the minute we uh, say we're done and we're taking our toys and going off the lot, we're misogynists. Yep. For taking our resources out of the game. Yeah, literally doing the exact same thing that feminists do, and they get called stunning and brave. Correct. Oh, I'm just going to focus on me. I'm going to take care of myself and my career. Uh, you know, wonderful. I'm strong and independent. Men do the same thing. They're shamed. Correct. Absolutely correct. Best dudes! Oh, good times. Anglo Christian, please upload the full stream to gab.tv or BitChute. I missed the first one and a half hours. Well, you're actually going to see that. Uh, we don't usually upload them to BitChute, but that we're on plenty of other sites where you can watch this. You can go to the Facebook page and watch it in its entirety. It'll be on YouTube in its entirety. You'll also be able to see it on Odyssey. Um, <laughs> I, I don't think DLive actually saves it. I don't know, but we, we might actually try Gab TV. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. But it... it, it costs so it's like 15 dollars yeah i would rather have our own streaming server if we're gonna pay that's i know, just, I know just but there's opinion. a lot of people over in gab i know but we've already had our account yeah. deleted by gab for no reason whatsoever so am i going to want to give them money and have them do that again i don't know exactly. i'm just saying that yeah we we did get you know we did get deleted got smoked bill quitfield again hog hunting means something different at a navy base Yes, it does, especially at Bremerton. <laughs> you were a hog hunter. They call them brimelows. Hog slayer. Hey, hey, there's a limit now. I had my limit. I never went above full As journey. did I. As did I. Come on now. I'm just saying. <clears throat> <laughs> but I'm not going to say you're wrong. Hey, I will say this, though, and you and I have been in agreement on this since day one. Cool points go a long way. Yes, they do. And so does good cooking. Yep. If you can have a combination of two. Well, there you go. Yep. I'm just saying. If I would say you're correct. I would if, say they're, correct. if they're overweight and they're really good cook, chances are they have an oral fixation. It's three strikes. Yeah. Now <laughs> I'm I'm cool with just not bugging me. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you on that. Because like most of the women I talk to in my age bracket just bug the shit out of me. Wah, wah, Inside wah, of three wah, weeks, wah. whenever they open their mouth, it's nothing but an orchestra of teeth and fingernails on a chalkboard. In fact, some of them, when they talk, it's kind of like the other day I watched a Jimmy Dore's podcast ripping apart the Young Turks. Every time Anna Kasparian talks, it makes nails on a chalkboard sound like fucking Mozart. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. I'm fucking better than you. <laughs> At sucking dick. <laughs> That's how she got that job. <laughs> yep. Oh, so you know what, Socrates? I'm totally with you on that. Jericho Green is great, and he would make a great guest. If you guys know how to get a hold of him, I would love to have him on this show. That's absolutely correct. I've sent, I believe, I sent an email, or um, I left a comment under one of his newer videos under the pin comment. Oh yeah, I didn't hear anything back from him. Good damn morning, Americans! <laughs> <laughs> I watch him all the time. 
He's a good dude. Oscar Dominguez with a $10 donation. Have you ever heard about the trend of women chronicling themselves, pulling the pin on the fat grenade after locking down the man into a relationship on TikTok? What are you talking about? I made a whole video. <laughs> no, no, this is women actually chronicling themselves, pulling the pin on their own fat grenade after locking down a dude. You know what? I, it doesn't surprise me. Mm -mm. They're proud of it now. Oh, I got him now. No. I can get fat and comfortable. Nope. You pull a pin on the fat grenade, guess where you're going? You're going right to the bunker. <laughs> you could blow up there and not harm anyone. Yeah, you go down to the bunker because ever since you started picking up the ding-dongs, that poo nanny between your legs has turned into a skunker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Stop eating all that meat that's not mine, if you know what I mean. Oh, my God. What? <laughs> I am Penis, Oxford professor. Some ninnies told me that our system sucks. Nor ends the lot of them. I say our system's the best. The people who run it are shite. Yeah, absolutely correct. Yes, I can definitely like, smell all shite. All of the countries in the Western world are now being run by absolute incompetent assholes. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Wieners. I don't like them. I don't like them at all. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm just checking to make sure that I'm not missing anything here. I'm back over on Streamlabs. Man lighting. Man lightning. Juneteenth. One more thing that Black's got from the government that won't help him. <laughs> Stupids. Another federal <laughs> holiday. All right. Yay. It's not like we already have enough of them as it is. Yeah, no shit. Ascension, just a heads up, Blake and Pop, I've got some nasty stories that I'm saving exclusively for when I'm on the show. <clears throat> My goal is to hopefully be the first person to make Pop lose his lunch on the air. Please don't do that. Hey, we need to have a uh, crazy uncle on here to talk about his Wango Tango shit. I want to know every detail because <laughs> that dude's got a weird life. We might have to, like, just use just his voice. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to go to jail. Riggs Jr., a few bucks for the booze fund. With all these gaffes the potato in chief has made, how is he still in office? Pock straw, please. I already threw all those. By the way, Pop has, has Pop got the bourbon that I sent? Which one? I don't know. I did I did go to the um the mailbox. I have the stuff in my car. I'll bring What is it called? Uzo? No, no, it's something from from uh, France. It's it's a, a liquor made from licorice. Whatever it smells like, licorice. Yeah, one of the bottles broke. You said. Yeah, yeah. You got money. Yeah. Yay! But that Thank wasn't you. a bourbon, though. Okay. I, I do recall seeing the bourbon. It was in a box, I believe, that was all taped up and a bitch to open. No, I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna drink alcoholic licorice, you might as well just drink Nyquil. Well, you you mix it with stuff. It, it's not that bad. Yeah. I mean, it's not my thing. Ascension! People who annoy me. The gynecologist on the Crytanic. I do what I want, Larry. Captain Blake made me lieutenant for a reason. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Crusader Nate. Pop hog hunting might remind him of his hog slaying days. That would be a good live stream idea. Mm, if it occurred in a disso deck. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> You're dating yourself, bro. Well, I mean, they were called clubs back then, but you know, they, they had changed their names from discotheque. Yeah. Uh, B989X donated $10. Thank you very much. If Blake rode into town on a donkey, who would be the biggest ass? Blake for being an ass, for riding an ass to town, or the donkey for allowing an ass to mount him? I think it would be the donkey. That's true. It's that fucking ass. Damn it. Or Gretchen Whitmer. Donkey? I, I throw her into the list. <clears throat> Uh, what do we got here? Ascension Streamlabs. Thank you. I already read it. Thank you very much. I paid his highest viewer count, 1,003. Winning. It's still 300 shy of our goal, mm -hmm. but we'll get there. It's coming down now because we're almost done. Yeah, it is what it is. Astro Piggy. Well, hey, brothers. Have you all ever thought about doing a stream collab with Louder with Crowder? Yeah, that'd be great. They would never return our fucking emails and phone calls. Yeah, he's, he's not going to read. Yeah, we're, we're we're not we're not even on his radar. No, I, I bet it'd be a hilarious stream. By the way, when are you going to erase gullible off the front of the bar? What? What gullible? 
It's an old joke. Oh. <laughs> hey, you know gullible's not in the dictionary? What? No, no. yes, it is. <laughs> oh, okay. I didn't know that. <laughs> you got me. You got me. You got me. D. Wolf's Froth with two <clears throat> donations, $5 back to back. Thank you very much. And thank you all very much for your donations tonight. At Iapetus, the problem is that we have a system that allows, nay, requires the shite to systemically gain power. Yeah, you have the people who don't contribute anything having a say on where the government's going. Yep. In my opinion, if you want to to vote and have anything to do with where the where mm -hmm. the steering the ship or where the government goes, you need to have skin in the game. Hashtag repeal the nineteenth. Okay. Hey, when people who don't own property have never served this country, don't pay taxes, have no skin in the game, get to vote in their own self interest. It doesn't go anywhere It does good. not work. It doesn't go anywhere good and never it's, has. It's not a sexist thing. That's a people. <clears throat> it is. I, I don't even care if they call me a sexist anymore. I, 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 I don't, don't care either. Well, because it's just a way to try to deflect away from the fact that they can't debate you. Yeah, I know. They always pull that. You, you're an istophobe. You're an istophobe. Okay. You can't get laid. You have a small penis. You yeah. must be gay. You're, I mean, you, and you hate your mother. I literally quit doing hate mail episodes because that's all they do. Oh, it's the it's same all the shit. same shit over and over. Over. It's a broken record that smells like quim. <laughs> Bad quim. Bad quim. <laughs> Got a skunker down in your bunker. <laughs> <laughs> D. Wolf's Froth again. This demonic barbarism previously thinly veiled under the veneer of civilization is the liberalism of the French Revolution. End game autocracy. Pretty much. Pretty much. That's where they're... I mean, when you see, like I said, when you see the military being purged of ideological combatants who are who are not going to fall in line with the, with the mainstream narrative, that is a precursor to bad stuff. Bad stuff. That's what I'm allowed to say. Bad, bad stuff. stuff. That's a precursor to what what in the butt butt, and not in a good way, not in an alcohol related incident. No. Apparently, upon request. what what in the butt butt leads to bad stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's getting their shit shoved in. <laughs> Before it falls out all over your face. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's getting their, their fucking colon trash compacted by Uncle Sam. Yeah. The bad news. How we doing here? We, we're we're doing all right. We all caught up? We, we just hit the last super chat on YouTube. We're going to check over Streamlabs here one last time. Tracy Wilborn, one of your last streams, you mentioned you're trying to do a show with Coach Red Pill. Any news on that? Um, it's going to happen. It's He's communicated back to us. We just need to get the the timing down because he's on yeah. the other side of this mm -hmm. of the world. Yeah, we may have to do a daytime stream just to have him on the show, and that's something that we've talked about doing for a while anyway because we got Sidney MGTOW on the other side of the world. Mm -hmm. We really want to do a stream with him. But, you know, a 12-hour time difference is, uh, uh, what's that word, significant. So yes. we got to figure that out. Yes, it is. But it's going to happen. Uh, v VFM7634 donated $5. The nuns opened the door. The man said, wow, what knockouts. Here are the blinds you ordered. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Jimmy Bones, Congress, the president shouldn't have this much power. Term limits, also Congress. I've been in government for 30 years and shit hasn't changed. Gee, I wonder why. I wonder why. It's called yeah. stagnation. Yeah, all those, all the people <laughs> who love to blame Orange Man... For everything that has ever gone wrong in the history of this country have all been in politics since before I was born. Yep. Yeah, keep 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 doing what you're doing. Obviously, it's totally working out for it's you. It's totally going to work out for you. Anglo-Christian, there was a zero tolerance for Orn pay. Otherwise, Gap is exceptionally tolerant. Obviously not, because they deleted our account for no fucking reason, and that's it wasn't because of Orn pay. That's absolutely correct. All I can think of that may have gotten you banned was butt pics. Never posted them. No, all I did was, uh, I mean, I would, I would put some posts up there about our show and stuff like that, and one day yeah. it was just gone. No idea what the hell happened. It yep. is what it is. Uh, J.S. Stillman over on MGTOW.TV. Joe Biden is more confused than Michelle Obama's gynecologist. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh man i'm just saying you know you go to congress for results that's like going on a date with caitlin jenner expecting sex at least not the kind you want yeah oh, oh you know i've always wanted to stick my cock in a pus infested hair hole oh god <laughs> <laughs> 
It's dripping oatmeal. Oh! Oh! Oh, God. It looks like something out of out of the negative zone. It looks like it's something gone. from a, an alien sci-fi movie. <laughs> That's terrible. Oh, shit, man. Even the craziest psychopaths on Earth wouldn't dream this shit. Wow. God, oh! That is some crazy. Uh, Caleb on over on Odyssey with the last donation of the night. When stuck on a boat for a long time, any hole starts to look good. Not uh, that one. No, no. Yeah, no, Caitlyn Jenner's hole, you can, you can keep no, that to yourself. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> one more from Iapetus. Do you suppose that we could, as a people, could create a law enforcement agency for the government because of some sort of immunity that the politicians have? That what, would, that qualified immunity bullshit? Well, if if it all comes tumbling down and it gets reassembled, I'm going to do everything in my power to put something like that in place. Uh, Yeah. Yeah, you ever read Tale of Two Cities? Uh-huh. I'm just saying, you know, when, when people take over for a government that has gone off the rails, uh, it usually doesn't work out too well mm-hmm. for said government. No. Or for anybody that supported them. Correct. If you haven't read that book, you should probably get on it. Amen! And a women. Oh, that's so dumb. <laughs> Give us a safety briefing, Pop, and we'll call it a night. All right. Don't drink and drive. Don't drink and swim. If you have to fight, don't go to the ground because that's where you get stomped out. Take the condom with you. Flush it down the toilet. Leave nothing to chance because you don't have any choice if you go to court. It's true. And, of course, to the stunning and brave, duly elected, most popular president ever. F- you and all your motherfucking friends, nigga. Give a f if y'all in kindergarten, I'll whoop y'all motherfucking ass. That's oh why Santa Claus ain't real. That's why I f your mama. I'll f up all your kids. I don't care, goddammit. Huh? Prove it to me. Prove it to me. That's why you ain't going to Disney World, bitch. F you and your friends. F all y'all. <laughs> you damn right. That never gets old, man. <laughs> we will see you all. Thursday night, right back here, provided we're not banned again. Boom! Same bat time, same bat channel. But if, in the event that we do get banned on this channel again, youtube.com slash Terrence Pop Culture. Subscribe to it, because that's where we will be streaming on YouTube. Other than that, MGTOW.TV, Facebook, Twitch, DLive, Odyssey, we're everywhere. All right, man. Take Have a easy. good night, and suck a dick!